Okay, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, Hi. I hope everyone can see the game, hear us, and everything. Um. Uh. I, I can't see the game. Yeah, yeah, I, I just uh, realized one last thing. Um. Okay, anti check this one. Um. Uh, the game yep. should be. I can see. Oh. I am ready. Okay, I think. Uh... Oh, it seems that the seems that the compressor is picking up the background noise. So let me turn the compressor off. Hmm. Pop okay. Down. That should fix it. Well, hopefully. Okay. I don't know. Yesterday, uh, people also said that at least the. Uh, the audio quality from my end seems to be bad, but uh, but it was from Discord, so it was coming uh, coming from comics, but um, so I don't know. About well, that. we're good to go, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is GTA three hundred percent. It sounds like there's like running water in the background or something, running. rather than the the white noise. It wasn't there when we just tested a second. That's strange. It's not like loud, is it? I mean, it's probably no like the chat noticed it instantly. Let me turn off mic and uh, see if it comes from there. God, I hate technical things. Microphones. Yeah, it's co it's completely gone when he mutes his mic, so it's like the 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 background noise or whatever. Um. Yeah, what <laughs> what's the best solution for this now? <laughs> um Don't know. I mean I don't think people will mind. I thought the noise suppression fixed it, but it seemed to like re break again. I couldn't hear it when I was doing testing. I mean let me check one more time if... yeah, actually check, check the settings to make Actually sure I don't saved. see the filter now. Um, <laughs> let me uh edit again because apparently yeah. Wait, that is not the right one. Maybe. No, it should be there actually. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure about another solution right now. I think we just roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it. I guess the other option is just uh push to talk in OBS, like even though you said you didn't want to. Mm, yeah, I could do that then. Um... So then it's not constant. Yeah, that's a good point. Like if there's like game audio going, you won't really hear it much over the like the ambient noise in the game. Yeah, true. I think it'll be fine. Let's just leave it as it is. I guess we can start like this, otherwise I can just, you know, mute and unmute uh, in OBS. Uh, sorry for the extra noise here. Okay. Everything should be fine. Yeah, okay, I will just start like this and then mute my mic if it's bad after a few minutes if people can't. Alright. Okay, so, um... Yeah, uh, I should count down, I guess, right? Uh, so... Yep, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, uh, three... Two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. So this is GTA 300%. Um, our objective, well, we we are trying to, com or we rather, I should say, we are completing everything that gives percentage at least once. Uh, and I have Anti with me as a commentator. Hello. So unlike yesterday, where like the objective was just get to the crest as fast as possible, you have to do everything, which is like missions. There's vehicle submissions. There's cars you got to deliver to garages, hidden packages, rampages. Uh, am I forgetting? Stunt jumps right here. Stunt jump. Yep, this is our first uh, objective already. It's a unique stunt jump. I also uh, saved a ripe replay there. Whenever I load this replay, I will remove one wanted star. Which is nice for hundred percent, especially because um, we are putting ourselves into situations where we have to 
steal slower rare vehicles and then when you have a wanted star and some sneaky cops you can easily just bribe it away just as a quick update i just listened to the stream and yeah you can't hear it with the game there so i guess it's just when it's in silence you can hear it but otherwise it's fine okay so don't worry about it that that's good i guess that's <laughs> That's actually really good for me, so I don't need to bother with the mic. So um, another thing we are doing is we are pausing the game over mission markers. So in later GTAs, often markers just stop you. Even some markers in this game, but usually they don't. So when you pause over the game, it acts as if you stop over the marker and it activates it immediately. Yeah, basically markers like check to see if your speed is zero and when you're paused the game sets your speed to zero and works the same way. So this is the first thing that depends on some luck and nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, I will come back to it after I start the next mission. Um, so the next mission will be... So this mission is just drive Misty back to Luigi's Ghost. There's really nothing to it. It's pretty much a tutorial mission. This is a line runner, which is uh, one of the cars that we get later on as a fixed spawn, so I'm not going to take this. Um, so maybe about the cars, that one of the objectives is to uh, collect vehicles for the import-export garage in uh, Portland, and that's why I was mentioning the rare vehicles I, I just said, so yeah, I'm just checking the ambulance again. Maybe I take the cop car as a backup. Okay, for some reason. Uh, I, I still would like to take the ambulance rather than this cop car, but... Uh, also I get five uh, shotgun shells from it, which could be good for later. Wow. I do one more check, so the, the chance for this ambulance to be locked is 30%. I got it twice in a row already. Yeah, that's really unlucky. So one more check, otherwise I will just take this cop car because I'm not... Okay. Okay. Uh, I can take this way. That's fine, getting a 9% <laughs> right at the start. <laughs> That's just marathon look, man. Um, this is another thing I can already do, so... Moonbeams are car... Uh, or rather, is one of the cars I need to take to the garage. I'm not gonna take it right away, because... Um, so... There are some time-based um, missions and... Yeah, especially missions on uh, for Portland. And I like to rather glitch a moonbeam if I see one early to uh, have a little more room for... Um, for time-based events, I should say, um, if, if I need to. Also, yeah, I am... Moonbeam is one of five vehicles that you deliver non-linearly, depending on like when you find them and when you want to deliver them. Exactly. Also, you, you saw me already activating him, but not running over immediately. That's pretty much why he lines up pretty well. Uh, other than that, I just take the stallion and... Uh, drive it to the paint spray, which is the paint spray tutorial. Um, I'm also... Like Portland. Sorry. Nah, it's fine. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, because it uh, is one of the main things as well, I'm uh, changing cameras because the top-down camera despawns traffic in front of me. That is uh, something that happens throughout the whole run. And you're gonna have to get used to it. I yeah. don't like it. So like a lot of Portland routing is very like non-linear, like a lot of it revolves around um, cars but you like can't get any like fixed point because they spawn randomly and there's no like fixed spawn. There's uh, missions that you can only start at certain times of day so like depending on like your pace like you might have to do different missions at different times, stuff like that. May as well take this free pistol. Um, I'm trying to force a cop car here. Uh, because... First of all, it's the fastest car available. Second of all, I can spam this Vigilante mission whenever uh, I start and end Vigilante. I load a vehicle model and 
two of the vehicles that are uh, needed for the garage that you can get non-linearly um, can be loaded by the game using Vigilante. I also picked up the hospital tutorial icon uh, to start the tutorial. Uh, if you don't, then after the first death warp you do, which also happened quite a lot in this run. Um, uh, the ambulance doesn't spawn and one of the cop cars doesn't spawn. So this is Drive Misty for me. Um, this is the same as any percent you uh, get, at least this part you just get out of your car. Uh, so she sprints to the car instead of just walking. And now uh, I take a slight, very slight detour I would say, um, because this road spawns. Um, oh, there was already a bus, I hopefully still see it, that's oh, nice. nice. So this is one of those vehicles but doesn't have a fixed spawn in Portland, so you get it whenever the game gives you one. And as you can see, I have a wanted star in this uh, <laughs> cop trying to bust me already. This is one of the reasons why a bribe replay would be very valuable. I got away a little quicker so I didn't need it, but that can happen a lot. So yeah, we just end this mission normally, and then starting the next mission, my Eclipse Last Lunch, which is insta-passed in uh, any percent in all missions, but not in 100%. Because it uh, the insta-pass involves the Vigilante submission, which, is, uh, which cannot be activated after, uh, but we want to do Vigilante later, because it's one of many goals for 100%. And like Vigilante itself is used for some dupe setups as well. And if you didn't have it, it would be like rather inconvenient. Yeah. So dupes happen or insta passes happen a little earlier in the other two main categories, any percent and all missions. Right now we uh oh, okay. No Kuruma. Uh, that's fine, so um Okay, these were also mega jumps. I think these were the first two in this run. I'm not sure right now. Um, yeah. Uh, the explanation. Uh, I always forget how they work technically, but I can at least tell you how you can do them. So you start with an animation like shooting, punching, or a jump, and then you jump and press replay right after, and then you do this these mega jumps. Also, the first one I just did can despawn some of the fixed spawns um, that are uh, near the road, well almost near the road there, I had to take the mule, usually there's also Kuruma and Perennial. I don't know if you have anything to add about the Mega Jumps if you know better. <laughs> the way like, the way like they work from what I understand is like you blend any given animation with the jumping animation and when you play a replay it like sets some like speed multiplier multiplier I think or velocity multiplier to like some absurd number and that like gives you a ton of speed and like on the um cars like not spawning like all these like fixed spawn cars have like a ring around them and when you like touch that ring it like spawns in a car but when you have like such high speed you can like go through that ring without the game like really noticing so it doesn't spawn the car if so, uh, this mission is, was also pretty straightforward, you take this Idaho from the restaurant, you may not damage it, only very slightly sometimes it works, but usually no damage, and there was also this nice drop before the bomb shop, which is, which was very common to see in other categories as well, but as I said, this mission is usually insta-passed in other categories. So this is the next thing we actually mega jump here. Uh, I also used a replay as I was about to land to not get this falling animation. It doesn't work that well sometimes, but it worked twice now. <laughs> it's frame perfect. This taxi is really good for an upcoming setup yep. to get a rare car. Yep, you you want a taxi before. Or Van Heist, which is the mission after this. I'm also going to pick up this package now. 
before I forget. I sometimes pick it up later, but just for the sake of the marathon, I guess uh, I should. Uh, I also need to tap sprint, maybe I should mention that. Um, often 100% runs do paramedic earlier, which gives you instant, uh, not instant, uh, infinite sprint. Uh, we also use the AK we just grabbed for killing Chunky, Li Chong, I just passed this mission already. I think I will just pick this up right now and get a new taxi. Yeah, you can get one like on the way back. Mm -hmm. This is yet another non-linear vehicle that you deliver. Yeah, um, this it's a good start. This may already cause a different mission order th uh, than the one I had. Well, rather not the mission order, but based on the time. A little bit. <laughs> well, Poutinet wanted me to push this, <laughs> so I tried. Are you guys uh, reading chat, by the way? Like, do you want, if anyone has any questions, do you want me to relay them? Yeah, I glance um, over it, but I have a hard time while commentating yeah, so much. If if there's a question that like, we miss, um, feel free to relay it to us. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, so someone mentioned, like, the classic, if you can just mega jump everywhere, why do you use vehicles? But there are a lot of limitations to mega jumps. Like, for example, oh, yeah. um, if, you, if you travel too fast and you hit, like, um, like, you just go on a straight road, you'll go so fast that you'll just die from the impact. So you can only mega jump in certain places, either like what you saw there, where Chibi used the wall to, like, break his fall, or, um, like, off slopes, so you have enough time to slow down. Otherwise, you'll just die instantly. So, there was supposed to be a tactic there. there. Oh, wait, there's one. Yep. Uh, so yeah, most mega jumps just kill you if you... If you just did a random mega jump by chance, if you didn't think about it, you would probably die. So, um, mm -hmm. so you jump against walls or... Uh, nah, I'm not sure how to say that, like... Uh, so that uh, it switches to the normal falling animation. So here, uh, maybe I should quickly say this. I'm holding the taxi submission right now. After I bump into this and let go of the taxi, I can spam replays uh, while the passenger is getting out. Um, the door will not lock for me, so I can enter it. I guess I'm glitching it because of the replay. Also, I need to make sure I don't get dragged out. Otherwise, I have a hard time uh, re-entering because the doors themselves are actually locked. I could only yeah. enter because I glitched it with replay. And this is another vehicle that you deliver here. Holding taxi into that mission and then letting go of it, which starts taxi, it cancelled the mission because it like... Well, I'm actually not sure why exactly it cancels it in this case. But that doesn't work normally with every mission, like, it's only, like, certain cases where, like, starting a mission during another mission will, like, not crash the game. In this case, it just happens to work, and you can use it to steal the car, which you need to deliver. Uh, I also usually use this opportunity to deliver a cop car. I didn't get two stars on my way, but... Uh, I can just shoot people, as long as I have my AK. Uh, usually another cop car spawns, I can also just take this Yankee until I see a cop car. Uh, so we talked, we also talked about time-based missions. Um, the mission after this one can only be started until 7pm, so uh, this is changing up things a little bit for me now. Yeah. Uh, but I can't do that mission before this one, so before Van Heist, which you just saw, but now we are doing it normally. Maybe I should have first yeah. bribed the door. <laughs> so when you cancel a mission like that, it doesn't like you have to like start it again from the start. It's like almost like you failed it, kind of. Yeah, it's as if you never did the mission to begin with. So blowing the car up there was just to like damage the secure car so but they freaked out and got out of the car so you can take it. I need to actually actively remind myself not to switch to Chatterbox. <laughs> 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 just now I did. Um, uh, 
even delivering the moonbeam doesn't. Uh, I mean, I can deliver it now anyway. Yeah, I can actually do this. I can deliver the moonbeam, I can death warp, deliver the enforcer already, and then I can start uh, the crook. In between, I do a death warp. So, um. So the crook is one of the Marty Chonks missions. Uh, all Marty Chonks missions are. Uh, time based from 9 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. So here I use a mega jump actually to death warp. Um, death warping advances the time by 12 hours. And now I use an ambulance or a taxi to hopefully get the enforcer. Should, so we use this tutorial. And I can let go of paramedic now. And here you see an enforcer. And if you cancel the tutorial normally, or if you just watch the tutorial normally, then um, uh, this enforcer will despawn. But here it doesn't. And this is also one of the vehicles that we need to deliver to the crane in this case. So uh, you, you already saw the police car and the ambulance. Um, there will also be the fire truck, FBI car, and even the tank. And this list isn't f uh, complete, but it's pretty much all I don't know government vehicles, you could say. Yeah. And now with the moonbeam delivery and the enforcer, I'm past 9 a.m. So I can start the crew. Also, the last thing was technically a dupe, I just see it uh, out in its message, so... Because we start... Um, what is it? We start paramedic while the tutorial is running, so paramedic is duped, I guess. <laughs> it, like, um, like the paramedic script turns into the um, tutorial script, and, like, so you have two tutorial scripts going, technically. Yep, that's... Going at the same time. I mean, that's, I think, in general, the principle of dupes way. The way when you start the second on top of the first mission, um, the first one turns into a. No, it's the opposite. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm not. I'm not sure if it was for me or for. Wait, am I wrong? Tutorial. Oh. Tutorial. Oh right, I said yeah. I said yeah. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I for I forgot like what we were like starting like during what. Whoops. Yeah, I said I said paramedic while the tutorial is running, and yeah. Yeah, you get two paramedics, not two tutorials. So here we use a different kind of camera trick, you could say. Uh, it's good for slower cars like the perennial, where you just look back and nothing spawns in front of you. Also at 59, I'm going to play... Uh, replays because you can actually advance in the weather cycle so the weather is on the cycle where at specific point uh, also rain happens and I just skip the rain sometimes I also skip fog but that's that really depends on the case but rain uh, skipping rain is pretty good because of the uh, worst driving physics especially so I like doing that when I Whenever I can. Uh, yeah, so we need to wait until this mission passes. Um, so we pick up the Banshee for the next mission, and after the, it passes, uh, the crane is... Well, the game is done crushing the Manan. I just uh, drove to the crush, and I can actually mega jump again, so I like to park there when I can. And, Mega jump to that package before starting Turismo, which is a race. We also pick up another package here. So far, I'm on track. The package is. Maybe it can be hard sometimes to 
keep track if you have all packages. I mean, there are a lot of things you have to complete during this run. I hope I will not forget anything. Often, it's often pretty obvious because um, oftentimes package pickups or US, uh, unique stunt jumps, which we also call USJs and so on, are on our way and it makes sense to just do them at specific points so they are easy to remember but sometimes you have to go out of your way a little and then. Um, other than that this is just as I said a race we just drive through checkpoints nothing really exciting um, towards the end of the race I will try to see if I find another one of the uh, rare vehicles that I can deliver to the garage, but that's it. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, ben, if you have donations or something, maybe now. I can uh, jump in if you'd like. Yeah, I mean... I understand that uh, Sorry. is quite, quite the boring mission. Especially in a Banshee when you just absolutely demolish everyone. Uh, we have $4.15, uh, our first donation today from Prox, uh, who is my, my roommate here in Sweden. Um, just around the total, so a total of $360. So, <clears throat> excuse me, my, uh, let's uh, drink some water, I think. Everyone else should be drinking water as well. Remember to stay hydrated. But yes, um, our goal for this marathon, I originally said it's a 500, but we got really close to it already. So I looked it to a thousand by the end of the week. Um, because my, my roommate here, who has also donated quite a lot towards it, um, he might be watching actually, but... Since he's been so nice and let me stay here with him, um, I want to get him a new microphone. And if we raise a thousand dollars, then Elgato will give me one of their brand new Wave 3 microphones as like a fundraising reward uh, for my contributions. So if I end up getting that, I'm going to give it to him as a Christmas present. So any and all contributions are all welcome. And also any Twitch revenue that I get during this week, as a reminder, I won't be taking any cut of it. I'll be donating that straight towards the cause. So if you have like a Twitch Prime or any kind of bits laying around and you want to, you know, give them to charity rather than your favorite streamer, which is me anyway. Oh, he is in the chat. All right, well, that, that cat's out of the bag. Uh, but yeah, so if you have any like bits or Twitch Primes or anything laying around, you can feel free to contribute those as well. So uh, this is going to be uh, another interest. Well, it doesn't look too interesting, but it's interesting for the fact that we are going to Instapass Taxi now instead of doing 100 fares or 50 duped fares or whatever. Um, so I also recorded an AK Rampage replay um, I, uh, during Turismo when I was in St. Mark's around the 100 seconds uh, in the race, into the race. Um, now I'm holding Taxi and after this cutscene ends and I let go of Taxi uh, taxi will uh, will start and it will also uh, give me the rewards of taxi already. So. Here it comes, as you can see on the page. Uh, uh, well, it's one of the you know, confirmations. Uh, we are also recording another replay here just now. Um, uh, other than There's that. Some... This on mission zero uh, rampage has has nothing to do with taxing this pass, but it's actually going to be used for another instant pass coming right up. We yeah. started on mission zero just before starting Cipriani's chauffeur for the first time, and now he's going to start a second time to instant pass. I scream, you scream, and then trial by fire as well. Yep. So I recorded an Uzi rampage replay and also a, a, a flamethrower replay, which only spawns on trial by fire. Uh, which is one of the missions we insta pass. Uh, I have a little bit of extra time than usual here. I may check the cop cars actually. Just check. May as well try. Okay. 
I actually prefer having a cop car over the Mafia Sentinel here. And um, so one of the conditions for the following, or for one of the following insta passes, is to actually complete a rampage. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get everything together while doing it, but right now, so um, the mission right now we are on uh, is for the ice cream use cream insta pass. And we also complete a rampage right now, uh, which will uh, allow us to insta pass trial by fire right after. Uh, I also take a slight detour to pick up a package here. Um, I guess this is a little bit of a detour. This package is... Th there's no really good point to pick up this package. Yeah, so. like this is just a really slow one no matter what. Yeah. So we just... I guess I should quickly explain like how like an instant pass works, like as simply as possible. Um, when you start a mission while another mission's like still running, the code for like the new mission uh, it overwrites the code of the old mission, I think. <laughs> and but the game will like keep executing code at like the same place where you left off in the old mission, and like it can just like so happen to like line up with code that passes the new mission. Sometimes, not very often though. Like there's only like very few spots where it works. So uh, most of the time you just like crash. Yeah, another thing you have to do here now is not stay in the marker whenever you activate one of the missions. So I'm doing this weird setup while also holding Vigilante. Um, the reason for Vigilante is that I have to cancel a remaining Trial by Fire instance, I think, before starting Big and Bane. So I don't crash the game, but when we already talk about... Maybe I shouldn't say anything, but this is a very, very scary point and this game can just crash now for no good yeah. reason I have a backup I was gonna save. wait to say anything about it until after it happened but now I'm just scared uh, there are a lot of things happening I just insta passed two of the um, phone missions as you saw um, we also have in between we also have to pick up the briefcase uh, for it to work, we should also be past the point where the game crashes, usually. I don't think I've ever crashed after this. Yeah, neither. So this route is also probably the riskiest to take for Big and Vainy. Um, usually you follow the... what is it? Magazines? Uh, or yeah. whatever it is. Um, around, but you can turn around and you don't need to pick up all of them or anything, you just need to reach to... Uh, the guy I just killed before the timer runs out, and yeah, the the magazines are just there pretty much to extend the timer. Uh, we also do another slight detour because we set up. First of all, here is another package, also the Uzi. It's a good weapon to get at this point, and um, so you saw me doing a rampage replay from. Uh, the AK early on Turismo, this is the alternative spot, so GTA 3 has uh, two locations per rampage and when you fail uh, starting from one it moves to the other. And other than that we just finish this mission. Oh, no, can think. I get a rating on that InstaPass explanation, please? <laughs> Out of 10? Yeah, I'm trying to think if we need to explain something about that part. <laughs> there was still... So, another thing is, uh, I don't enter any cars um, right now because I still have my cop car parked next to the blue phone. I will mega jump to it after this cutscene ends. Alright, thanks, Paladin. I'll take that as a 10. Sometimes a cop car also just spawns, so I can also just take that. Wow, I'm 
<laughs> actually good with these Dude, replays today. Actually, God Gaming, these are all frame perfect. So, the goal of this mission is to just kill these two guys. Um, I killed... well, I oh. wanted to kill the pimp first because he has a shotgun, as you can see. Also spam a little bit of Vigilante, so I still need a Trash Master and I still need a Mr. Whoopi. Well, Mr. Whoopi was loaded from the Ice Cream Use Cream mission. Um, the Trash Master could be loaded by now from the Vigilante spamming. Here is another setup. <laughs> um, I try to drive to the edge of the activation of this mission so I can now start this mission with the AK Rampage I just recorded. This would. So I can do both at the same time. Um, yeah, this um, uh, Diablo Destruction RC mission, it's on a two minute timer. The only thing you have to do is like destroy cars, minimum one. But even like, no matter how many do you destroy, you have to wait out two minutes. So you might as well do a rampage in the meantime. Yep. Also, uh, before I complete this rampage, I need to move the van away from the mission activate uh, from from Diablo destruction activation zone, so it doesn't start again when the, the rampage completes. Um, I do it a little after doing this rampage because I had the van roll back into it if I did it too early, so that's why I'm waiting out a little bit. Got a question from chat. Uh, is the references contest still on? Yes. You can still farm those points. Get those yep. reference gone. In. I just do it now. So you, so you maybe saw the van moving. If not, that's fine. But I definitely hope that I move the van away from Diablo Destruction to start again. Uh, how does the game count the explosions as killing the Mafia mobs? Apparently explosions count towards it, yeah. Um, oh, I hear a Mr. Wookie. Um, I'm driving this road because I th uh, I can take the remaining time to see if I can maybe already spawn a Trash Master so I have at least confirmation that it's loaded. We still have over an hour to find one. Portland is pretty long, it's usually two hours long and it's around 40% uh, when it comes to objectives that you need to do for 100%. So this is another mega jump. Uh, this roof here has another package we can just quickly mega jump to instead of running on the rail uh, on the train tracks. Not sure if rails was the right word, whatever. Um, it works. Um, other than that, we do Luigi's last mission already, which is Fastball, which is, um, well, it is on a timer, and you have to at least pick up four girls, but there are eight girls, and you can pick up all eight girls to end the mission, or what you can do is you can pick up the or, and um, pick up the four girls minimum and um, take them to a club and do other stuff for this mission which is the main problem I would say or which makes this mission one of the main uh, problems in this run because you can easily lose a lot of time from some of the unique stunt jumps we are going to do probably even more Yeah. I'm not sure why the rain already started, I must have. Yeah, this is actually surprising. I was just looking right here either. Yeah, I, I probably saved a replay at 59 on the clock. Happens sometimes. Yeah. That kind of stuff is how, like, the Weber skip was found to begin with. Yeah, that it was completely accidental. When I skipped the. Uh, uh, two minute rain period completely in an any percent run. I tried messing around with it a little bit and found it <laughs> accidentally. So that's kind of nice. So here's one of the unique stunt jumps. This should be fun. 
line. If you go a little too far to the right, it won't count. Um, I like to go a little to the right in case the line runner needs to stop me because I'm going a little too fast. Um, there's another stunt jump here and there's also a girl that I try to avoid by jumping a little to the left. That was a little closer than... Uh, this is bad too. not the worst thing ever to... You know what, I will first despawn the cop, I might as well be a little safe on this. Yeah. And now pick up the girls again. That's a little bit scary. Yep. May as well not get busted on a mission that takes that long. Okay. <laughs> I still... S well, I don't think I have rain physics now, but I still had them partly when I had the cop as well. Oh, and there it goes. At least I know where I'm on the uh, weather cycle again, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it will rain for one more minute and then it will stop. The USJ on the bridge is annoying. Yep, and we will do it in a minute. First try. So. Definitely. Yep. First try, of course. So usually the, you can be here like 20 seconds earlier, but yeah, fast, this fastball wasn't that clean so far. It's, it's still not too big of a problem. Oh, but you can definitely see why this mission can cost you a lot of time, um, especially once we get to the other USJs. Unique stunt jumps. Mm. I tried to say unique stunt jumps <laughs> in the commentary. <laughs> So this is the fourth girl, and as I said before, you need four girls. Uh, hopefully this counts. Yeah. Uh, so the reason why I switch here, although I already have a cop car, is because the fixed ones don't despawn when you leave them at a place. Uh, usually the game uh, has a command where it just despawns uh, any vehicle. Uh, well. Not the last vehicle you just entered, but any vehicles before that. And we also do a nice mega jump here. Ah. Yep, that one's very precise. And you can often like not land on this building, so it's good that you got the first try, because if you don't get the first try, that's a lot of time loss. And here is another mega jump to the factory too get this package. This is all packages during this mission, at least. Is there a backup for those jumps? If you have... Uh, if you, don't, uh, you can just do these jumps even when the timer runs out. Um, the reason why you still want to be on the mission, though, is because of the fixed, well, I guess the other fixed cop car that is still uh, that is still there. If the timer runs out and I lose this cop car, I will not have another cop car there at the club. I'm trying to line this up a little more precisely. This might be a little too far to the right. Uh, this, oh, this looks good. Is it a little slow though? Yeah, it's slow. Oh no. I was scared that was gonna happen. And I lost the cop car, which is amazing. I'm not this sure. Is the second worst thing in Portland. I may worst as well death walk in. <clears throat> I'm not going to catch this. Never mind. I remember to punch someone. <laughs> Um, so I can do the other jump first, usually that doesn't flip your cop car if you do it correctly, so I'm just gonna do that first. Uh, yeah, but this showcases why Fastball can lose a lot of time in an actual attempt. Yeah, norm normally, like, or ideally I should say, you can finish Fastball and do everything, all the side stuff, and you can, like, be right next to where you need to be for the next mission. Yeah. With time to spare, but 
most of the time because of that stunt jump and the mega jump earlier, but it doesn't happen. Still not sure about the Trash Master, so I just spam the more Vigilante. The Trash Master can't spawn on Vigilante, that's why it can be loaded. Um, actually, now that there's no possibility or no need for a double jump, I can maybe probably go a little further back, even if I flip the cock car. I would not, uh, I would like to not flip it here, but it's not the worst. Yep. So, um, we also need the submission, so I'm also holding it right now. The vehicle is less important right now because uh, the rampage that I want to start with the submission is kind of close. So. That's why I said it's not the worst thing when the cock. Uh, if the cock cup flips, it flipped. Nah, I will delay this trash master. Do I need to pick up? I wasn't thinking about that, but now I need to. I hope it just goes away. Um, so this is a setup for the next dupe. The dupe will be pretty... Yeah, it, it will work like in any person that you maybe saw yesterday. Uh, do I really need to take this detour? Oh yeah, you can't progress through this mission with a wanted level. <laughs> I might so not make it actually. It. Especially oh, with yeah. this driving. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it, so we will see three vans normally. Hell yeah. That'll be fun. You could make it, I think, right? You don't have to make a replay during this. Oh, it'll be really tight. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so anymore. I think the time is actually too low. Revents normal, yay. This is uh, gonna be really close, I feel yeah. like. I don't remember exactly like the reference to the Rampage timer here. If I had paid more attention, I could have taken the other bribe replay near the... Uh, not replay, the bribe near... Uh, what is it, the Rocket Rampage? But I don't know. Yeah, we will just do it normally, as it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't even close, never mind. Final cut seems way too long. So what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to start uh, the next mission while Rampage is still going, and then the Rampage fails, so you can start a mission twice, kill yourself, and then the mission fails, and then the second instance passes because the vans that you're supposed to destroy get destroyed by the mission failing. But, yeah. We were too slow. If I, I, I really should have paid attention to my, uh, to the star that I had. Otherwise, I mean, I could have easily activated the rampage later. I'm just switching cars because cop cars a little better. Well, top speed is the same. I'm pretty sure I need this loose because I death warped. You will see something that I haven't done in a long time. <laughs> Still not enough. We're doing this mission normally in honor of Adam AK, who said, I hope there's no dupes in this run. Yep. If he's still watching, I hope you're happy. Still... Well, I will still death warp after this. I think... 
Yeah, may as well. So usually when you dupe, you just death warp and that passes the mission. I will just death warp for this next exciting part. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hermetic, at least it starts well without needing to reset. So this is the paramedic submission, you have to complete 12 levels in a row, uh, each level increasing the patients you have to pick up by one. Um, you get several benefits from it, a health and an adre uh, adrenaline pick up. Oops. Wait, that's also good. I didn't see it because of the other. Um, but most important is the infinite sprint you get after you complete this. Uh, this takes around 25 minutes, so... Um, yeah. There is um, some tech to this, like there's um... Like the, the routes you take and the order you pick up patients can like... Very significantly change the time that you get. Um, the luck you get with where people spawn, like it can like... Like you can lose minutes to this if you play bad or get unlucky. Um, there's also uh, a strat where you can use a cop to pull out um, patients, so you can pick up more than three people per. Um, I guess like pick up per pickup, I guess per like trip to the hospital, and that can often save time. And like the way you route that is also important. Um. Yeah. So especially. In the earlier levels, you want them to be together, but <laughs> this doesn't look like it. No, this isn't great. Yeah, and if, if you accidentally kill a patient or whatever, then paramedic resets and you have to start from level 1, which is, uh, I think, another yeah. important thing, is, which is one of the reasons why it's usually done as soon as possible by most people. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of used to paramedic at this point, well, hopefully this will go well, and um, uh, there, there are other reasons why you want to delay it, so um, I guess I can just talk about it. So Big and Vainy was one of the things when I mentioned it could crash if you, you know, first do these 25 minutes of paramedic and then do Big and Vainy and just crash the game, you also feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, there's also fastball that can cost you a lot of time uh, and rare vehicles. I like to just test my luck with them and then um, first try to get done as much as possible with all these things and then do paramedic. And that's the reason why I'm doing it now. Well, maybe not so much in a marathon the reason, but it would be in actual attempts. <clears throat> I can uh, read some stuff out if you've got a uh, well, if you've got time. You know, got we have like twenty minutes. minutes. Twenty five minutes to burn. Yeah. <laughs> Other than I, that, I don't have that much to read, but mm. I, I have a bit. I can help you out with. Yeah, I mean, other than that, I can only really say that. So this was also a pause thread I did over this marker, um, where you can get the patients out later. Sadly, it's it's not really beneficial when you have a full vehicle, because then. Um, all three get out while you park next to a new patient that you pick up and that just costs time but uh, sometimes it's beneficial when you don't pick up three like I did. Um, other than that I can only say I'm trying to prioritize the so the east side before the west side of Portland uh, with patients pickups other than that I think that's pretty much all you need to know you just have to get lucky with the spawns. Okay, now I'm done. I <laughs> <laughs> so, some uh, quick donations to read out. We got uh, $5 from uh, from Laura, who's one of my uh, closest friends back home. And she said, uh, I live to see another year, and so should the children. Hashtag save the children. Thank you very much. We also got uh, 5 more dollars from Prox, saying, I don't like seeing that 5 on the end of the total. Understandable. And then that put us to three hundred and seventy dollars. And then Counter Pillow, my boy, donated thirty to take us to four hundred dollars raised for Save the Children so far, and actually more, including Twitch revenue. But I'm, 
I'm not sure on an exact number, so we'll just go with 400 for now. Um, so we're almost halfway towards our goal already, which is incredible, considering that we're, we've only just started the second day. Um, and to those who don't know what exactly we're raising money for, we're raising money for Gaming Tuesday, which is part of Sated Children's campaigns that they do every year. Uh, today is the National Day of Giving. They call it Giving Tuesday, and Gaming Tuesday is simply just like Sated Children's um, like gaming industry spin-off for that. Um, so the simple idea is is that people can raise money from November 24th till December 8th. Um, and there's a bunch of different rewards and stuff for people. And the idea is simply just to bring the gaming community together and raise money for kids that are in need in over 120 different countries. So if you think that you, know, you need a lot of money in order to support this cause, uh, you could not be further from the truth. Even something as simple as a $1 donation can provide malaria pills um, for a long time. And malaria is one of the biggest killers in kids in a lot of countries. So you can really make a difference with even the tiniest donations. And obviously anything is welcomed and supported. And as I mentioned earlier as well, any revenue that I make through Twitch this week will be donated on top. So if you have like any Twitch primes or anything laying around, you can also directly support charity with those. I'll likely come back in a, in a little while, but I'll, I'll spread my messages throughout Paramedic, so I'm not just throwing them all at you at once. <laughs> yeah, level 6, uh, usually when you end level 6, it's maybe 8 minutes done, so... <laughs> um. uh, somebody asked in the chat, by the way, why do some instabasses kill the side mission you start them on, like scam with taxi, evidence dash dude with, with Paramedic? I don't think that's specific to a different instapass, right? I'm pretty sure that's just if you use a submission to instapass yeah, so a mission, then it just kills it. With those um, uh, vehicle submissions, taxi, vigilante, etc., um, there is like a variable in the code that's like, are you have you started this? Are you is this like particular submission active? And like so, like for example, if you're on taxi, then it'll be like, okay, you're on taxi, so this variable will be one. If you start another mission while you have taxi going, that um, variable is stuck on one, and it never changes no matter what you do, even if you save and reload, it's going to be one, and if that variable is one, you can't start it again, so if that's basically like, just means that it's like dead forever, because it, like, it thinks you're on it the entire time, but you're not. I think Palvinet did mention in some weird way in Discord the other day to like revive certain submissions, but I don't know if it was viable. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I don't think it was anything that could be used. But I remember him mentioning that it is possible. Maybe he can refresh my memory. I remember some of that too, but I don't remember how it works. Yeah. I only half listen to what Palvinet says because half of it doesn't make any sense to me. But I try my best. I kind of didn't know yeah. how I wanted to pick these up, <laughs> so this looks a little awkward. I don't think too many people will mind. I mean, other than that, I can just talk out loud how I think about picking up some of these groups, but... Yeah, it's genius, Nick. Now just find out how to actually do that in the game. Yeah, so uh, Poudinet and Nick and Chad and probably some more people know the technical stuff much better than we do, but we try yeah. our best to uh, do some commentary for it as well. Like, I care more because I'm also not that good with the tech stuff and I also don't understand everything that is told. Uh, to just understand how I can use them in runs. Yeah. Same. Another mystery. So yeah, as I mentioned, uh, also when you get out of the ambulance, the submission also stops, so you can't just get out and maybe, I don't know, glitch it and continue with the paramedic. Yeah. I was about to say the same thing, so you can't get like packages or anything like that. You could 
technically do stunt jumps if you wanted to, but there's just, I don't know, there's better places to do stunt jumps. Uh, Anonymous donated one dollar and uh, said, I just wanted to F this flat number up. Why am I not surprised that you donated as Anonymous, whoever that was? You coward. <laughs> uh, you, sh you should own up in the chat and say, it was me, smiley face. So I can ban you. How dare you. This is a level where the routing can be more important than on other levels because of like just like how many patients there are and how many you can get in the group. There's free in St. Mark's, so getting these free in a group is pretty um obvious. But then like sometimes depending on where you get spawns, it can be less obvious how you want to group patients. Yep. And sometimes you also see maybe a group of four and pray for a cop too. Yeah. So sadly I couldn't show it yet. Um, this will also not happen on this level, but maybe one of the last four levels will show you the, the cop strat. For the final, uh, for the final few levels, you, you guys want to open the chat to like an AMA kind of thing, where the chat can yeah. ask you any questions. Yeah, I was thinking about that, like we can do an ask me anything, ask uh, us anything, yeah, rather. Like, ask, uh, yeah, an AUA, that doesn't sound as yeah. good. I guess Q&A <laughs> well, be better. Just ask us questions, we yeah, can start so answering questions now. Yeah, if you have any questions, uh, to myself and uh, Anonymous Commentator or Chibu, then uh, feel free to ask them and I'll relay them. I will pay a little more attention to this, but I hope I see maybe some questions if they are directed I, I, to me. I can relay them if you want to focus. Yes, yeah, that's... Yeah, I feel like that the, the interviewer. Yeah, so this was pretty obvious. This is exactly how I imagine grouping these people on this level. As Anti mentioned, sent Mark's three people and then... Nate says, how much is the fish? Is that a reference I don't get? Is that an exclamation mark reference <laughs> not gone from me? Um... Is that from like, gone fishing or something? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm not what sure either, but... Apparently Pokemon that's reference? an exclamation mark reference not gone, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can turn it around. I think that's more likely, at least for me, to have reference not gone. Anonymous commentator, what is your favorite kind of cheese? Ah, uh, Swiss cheese. The ones with like little holes. It goes hard. The, the ones with the holes. Sw Swiss cheese. It's got holes in it. Oh, Come it's on. a scooter song. Ah, oh, yeah, I haven't heard it, I guess. I would have recognized it if it was a scooter song. I thought we were going to ask questions about the run, not personal questions. Doesn't this scooter? Case. Oh my god, scooter. Oh. The painted cow! Oh! <laughs> Favorite kind of cheese. Um. <laughs> I don't know. What is a good cheat? I guess the one that uh, changes the car vehicles, handling one. and lets you jump. Blow up all cars. Any any jury fury uh, any jury fury uh, insta passes with uh, your <laughs> big bang. <laughs> Favorite food? Um, pizza, sure. So uh, just a that's such hint. a nommy answer. I don't care, man. I don't even <laughs> really have a favorite food. I just first thing that came to mind. And I thought I was gonna show it off with the cop. How much for Eben to sing a Christmas carol? If we get to 500 by the end of this, I'll sing you a I'll sing you a song. I don't know what Christmas carols I know. I'd have to look them up. But I mean, I can I can read some lyrics or whatever. Just some classic jingle bells. What's your favorite GTA? I think for Chibu, that's probably fairly obvious. Yep, for me it's obvious. I like GTA, GTA, GTA 5. Yeah, you play it all the time. Poggers. <laughs> Is Jaws actually GTA 3, Anti? Yeah, I like, I, as a speedrun, as a speedrun, I really like GTA 3, especially 100%. What 
But what about casually? Um, I actually kind of like San Andreas casually, to be honest. Uh, as a speed run, it's garbage. Um, well, uh, no, casually, there's, there's I, I, a lot to I do. I can attest to that, to be honest. Yeah, like a, a lot of my hatred for San Andreas is based on like how it is to speed run. Yeah. Vice City is still my favorite, regardless. It's always been one of my favorite games, but three is up there as well. I do really like three. It has like a really unique charm to it. Yeah, I just like the Tekken GT3 speedruns. Yeah. And how it plays out, especially in 100%. I really like the brain usage of like all the non-linear routing and stuff that you have to do on the fly. Yeah. Are you gonna skip vigilante duping, Shibu? Good question. Uh... I mean, I was. I mean, that was my plan. But <laughs> if you really want me to uh, to crash the game, and what's your biggest fear? That's a good question. I, I can start off. My my biggest fear, like I don't have many, but my, one of my biggest ones is like the fear of the deep ocean. You know, like the the fact that we've only explored like ten percent of the ocean. Awesome shit. Like, yeah. the, the, the fact that there could be like some horrific sea monsters underneath the ground, like when you're swimming in the ocean, like you go out in a boat, you go to the, you know, the middle of nowhere, you swim out and like a thousand feet below you, there could be some like horrific monster ready to eat you up. That's horrific. I think it's called like Thalassophobia. I think that's the name for it. That is horrific. Mm. My biggest fear, hmm. I don't actually really know. I don't have like anything that I'm like absolutely terrified of. But I probably like something simple like heights. I heights kinda mess me up. Yeah, honest. heights. Like heights heights uh, is probably mine. <laughs> see, I, I can deal with heights. Uh no problem. Like if I'm if I'm still at the top of a building and I look down, I'm fine. But if I'm at the base of a building and I look up, I get like vertigo. Like it makes me feel really uneasy. So it's it's like a reverse fear of heights. There's, there's a word for it. I forgot what the condition is, but it's the opposite. So like when, when I was in Copenhagen a few months back, I had to like look straight down at the ground because if I look up at the tall buildings, I feel like I'm going to fall over. Like it makes me really uneasy. I, I forget what the term is, maybe somebody knows. I think I, uh, I'm not sure if this is the right word, but I think intrusive thoughts that whenever uh, I look down from a big height or something, I fall, you know, and or do some stupid stuff to fall down. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. And for the real doomers, I must also say the fear of the future. <laughs> that, that's a classic. The fear of the unknown. Right. Yep. The term is acrophobia. There you go. I have acrophobia. Oops. So, oh, as far looks, as far yeah. as I know, AI can't kill them. I think that's what I was told. So I wasn't worried about it, but I was kind of oh, looks... thinking about it as soon as I stopped. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to how fast this paramedic actually is. I don't really want to stress myself about that. Favorite Jimmy strat in GTA 3. Yeah. Favorite strat. That's a good question. I'm gonna go with New Adido. It's a very satisfying strat. Especially when you get it like consistent. Yeah. I think I just go with the mega jumping answer, but I'm not. Yeah, mega jumping is a good one. I guess you could me, also call it attack instead of a strat if you want to, maybe, I don't know. It's definitely a strategy, I would say. Um, my, my favorite, even though I've never personally done it, because I've never done Hundo all missions, but the what you did earlier, like with the whole like ice cream, you scream, child by fire, like that whole segment. Where you just oh, like yeah. run back and forth across a marker and just complete mission after mission after mission. I think yeah, that's, that's brilliant cool. to look at. It's like a spectacle to watch. Oh, my favorite spawn. <laughs> and also, like, the concept of the fact that 
two missions back to back in the same place that you can use and line up and just like insta pass them both is sick. Yeah, that, that's like, super cool. That's a fairly new um, strat as well. Yeah. Like, just how, how fortunate it is that everything seems to line up perfectly so you can just basically nuke the entire phone. Uh, like the green phone missions. You can just go through the entire chain in like two minutes. It's crazy. Favorite mission that is not done in any percent? I'm gonna go with Uzi Money. Wait, Uzi Money? <laughs> the, the really bad one on short side. Yep, that everyone should Which hate. <laughs> Which one is Uzi Money? I had it in the head. It's um, the, 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 dri the drive-by one. one. Drive oh, the yeah. drive-by yeah. one. It's just a rampage, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually cool. it's actually a really bad mission. <laughs> um. I was thinking of I think Uzi Rider, where you take the guys and you go to Portland and then you just kill a bunch of people and drive back in a yeah. trail. That's that one's awful, awful as well. <laughs> that's that's also really bad. Uh, I mean, um, actually, I, I have a pretty obvious candidate actually. Uh, Kingdom Come. Oh yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. Whenever I think of Kingdom Come, I always think, I don't know if any of you guys have watched this, but the DSP, Dark Side Phil, like, this is how you don't play series, which is basically like, you know, he's a YouTuber who like prides himself on being really good at games, but he's actually awful. And he's done like a, a bunch of different playthroughs of this game. And on one of them, like, he fails Kingdom Come like 60 times. And his like reactions to the whole like special delivery, ha ha ha. It gives me like PTSD, <laughs> like just <laughs> listening to him do that mission. It's horrific. <laughs> what was the one where you drive the Inferno sort of bomb? Oh, that's uh, Rick to Blow. Yeah, Rick to, Rick blow, to blow is uh, kind of nice in this run later on. That that has a really cool strat yeah. later on. You... We won't spoil that, yeah. but that's a really cool one. Uh, what is my favorite mission that isn't any percent? Smackdown. Smackdown. <laughs> I think Plaster Blaster is really funny. I don't know if that's my favorite, but it's one that pops into mind. It's it's Whoa. such a novelty mission. Two angry drivers at one. Uh, so I don't know. If, maybe when I go south, I will see a cop. Sadly, I still haven't shown this thread at all. I just seem to pick up people in groups of three at most. Simple question to every commentator: What's your favorite car in this game? Banshee. That's a not. That's a cop out answer. You can't. Okay, it. well, fine. Like Banshee's like pr probably like objectively the best car in the game, but I guess I shouldn't say it's my favorite to drive. Um. I really like the Cheetah, but it's really bouncy. It's like it's like you're in a bouncy castle when you're driving it, and you hit anything, and you just flip. That's so, an annoying car to drive. I'm gonna go yeah. with cop car. Cop car is pretty fun to drive. Cop cars are zoomy in this game. The ambulance is actually really for an ambulance. It's mega fast in it. Mm, like a lot of the kind of utility vehicles. Are. I like the Inferno's answer. Uh, yeah, Inferno. Sentinel. Sentinel is also good. Yeah. Sentinel looks cool. If I like banana yellow color, that's like pretty much exclusive to it. I kind of like that. Borg Nine, isn't that the the red taxi that you get? Yep. For, yeah. Uh, for completing, yeah. I don't think I've ever super driven fast. that. Is it even? Is it different? It's super fast. It's super uh, fast. I don't think I've ever driven it. Uh, super fast acceleration, and I think ten more top speed than a taxi. Something like 180 or 190. Maybe it's the same top speed. I'm not sure. Stallion is pretty good in this game. That's questionable. <laughs> Very questionable. Stallion, Stallion slides around like your uh, your handbrake is constant. It's fun to drive if you're good at it. Same with the fire truck, I think. That's a fun one to drive. I love how the Stallion like migrated across the GTA games, where it became like from GTA 3, it starts off like you're in Tokyo Drift constantly, where it's really fun to drive but it's really awkward. Then in Vice City, it's just complete shit. It's awful. It's one of the slowest cars in the game. And then in Vice City, uh, San Andreas, it's actually really fast. Dude, like, the Stallion in really San Andreas good. was so fast, like zoom, yeah. like it's so fast. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous how much of an upgrade it got in San Andreas for some odd reason. Okay, so I already got, got the Enforcer. I'm trying to think. 
Uh, so, I mean, it's probably already clear because of all the rare vehicles we picked up at random moments, but yeah, this whole island is non-linear, so <laughs> I'm trying to think what to do and what I have done already, which is not usual. Uh, for example, picking up the Enforcer already. We also have uh, $9 from Prox, and he says uh, 401 is not acceptable, 410 looks better. Agreed. 410 does look much better. And it means we are only $10 away from the weed number, guys. Dude. Whoa. Weed. This is the end of level 12, right? Yeah, th th this should be the end of Paramedic now. Alright. Thanks and... for watching the run, guys. <laughs> it's over now. Yeah, I should have showcased five hours of paramedic. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, this is one of the reasons why I had to think right now, because the in-game clock is between 9am and 7pm, and I also uh, want to do the thieves and the wife um, together. Splitting them is kind of bad because the thieves end ends right there. Sh this should be enough time unless I pick up both the trash master and Mr. Whoopie, which are both still needed. We saw a lot of Mr. Whoopies. We saw one trash master, so at least they are loaded. This uh, mission chain here is also another example of like really, really poor mission design. Like it's just basically the same mission what four times in a row. Yeah. It's like with ever so slight modifications where you pick like you pick up a person, then you take them, they either get killed or at the end they kill whatever this guy's name is. And then you go and like get rid of the evidence. That's it. It's the same thing over and over again. It's a really strange design choice why these are even in the game. And then not only that, but they're also like they don't show up on the map at all, right? It's like the yeah. only missions in the entire GTA series that just don't show up. They're like actually hidden. You can hear the phone ringing, and that's like your only. Like, the yeah. phone only rings during like the hours, but you can pick up the mission, which is yeah. something at least. Actually, but, um, that's the only indication. Yeah, uh, GTA 3 actually has a worse mission when it comes to this, and that's multi story oh, mayhem. <laughs> multi story mayhem, yeah. I yeah. drove the wrong route, but that's fine. Yeah. Because, like, with, with like Cone Crazy, for example, in Vice City, like, yeah, it's, it's a hidden away mission. But all you've got to do is get in the stallion where it is, right? and then so if you just happen to get in, then the mission immediately starts. But the the issue with multi story mayhem is that you have to take the stallion, move it to the front of the garage, and then get in. Like, who found that? I, I would be willing to bet money that like Rockstar leaked the fact that that was there. Like, there's was no like, way someone found it by accident. Like the official strategy guide by what's his face, like. I like I guess like that's like where people would have found it originally like really early in the game's life cycle I guess yeah I, I refuse to believe that anyone found it like casually in their own playthrough absolutely Without, refuse. like a guide yeah yeah exactly like I, I can understand stumbling upon these missions because you know you just happen to be there right place right time and the phone's ringing but multi-story may mayhem there's no way I, I refuse to believe that anyone did 100% fully yeah. blind. I mean, unless you were lucky enough to, you know, uh, need a random car right before the garage and that random car was a stallion and suddenly the mission activated. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's like, the stars would have to align an unreal amount. That was... Well, I'll actually just try to glitch it. I'm, I think even the Esperanto should be fine for this. Um, this is just a backup one. It's not really in the best spot, but I think having a backup one is good just in case I don't find a better Mr. Uh, there's a trash master. Uh, I'm not going to abort the mission. There's still opportunities. I was actually really lucky with the bus and flat there. At least something that went well. Compared to some 
other stuff like free vents. <laughs> Maybe I'll find something in the chat. So yeah, uh, as mentioned before, all these are very straightforward. You just do the same mission over and over again with maybe a different variation. Yeah, with some variations at the end. On this one, you have to drown the car. You can choose any, any place where water is, but the problem is you, you can't bail out. Like in later GTAs, you have to push it, so you just go here, which is... The closest, and it also gives you a coach here, which you also deliver to the garret. There's a, there's a really nice strat that seems unintentional in all missions, uh, where you just drive the the car straight into the ocean with you inside it, and then you drown in order to death wall. It, it yeah. looks like you're making a mistake, but it's actually really intentional, and you'll yeah you'll see that on Thursday. Spoilers. Here, you That's don't nice. want to death warp because of this coach in all yeah. missions. It depends, some routes didn't death warp, some do. Um, the current one does. So. We'll see. so before I do her lover, first of all it's past 7pm so I can't do it anyway. Um, but also before I do her lover I have to do um, the pickup and Patriot Playground in the past. She will see now. So, a longer time ago on Fastball, I saved this M16 Rampage replay. That was probably over half an hour ago. Um, yeah, I forgot about that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is also one of the things where you maybe want to do early paramedic, uh, because whenever I do paramedic, I don't have a bribe replay. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it can also unintentionally uh, make you cancel the mission, because you can hold... So for some reason the middle mouse button uh, sometimes acts as a submission button. I'm I'm not sure exactly how it works, but when I when you for example hold it and then play a bribe replay, then you can accidentally cancel paramedic. <laughs> so maybe it's even a plus that I don't have a bribe replay. So this mission, this uh, ambush is kind of trivial with the M16. Which is one of the reasons why it's uh, the M16 Rampage that we use here. I mean, M M16 in this game is arguably the most broken gun in any GTA game. Like, it fires at like a stupidly high fire rate and it just melts any. Like, you can destroy a vehicle in two seconds with it. It is extremely overpowered. Yep. So, uh, the most important part is that uh, I started the mission before the timer runs out, unlike three vents earlier. But, uh, now I can do uh, the I can do the Patriot Playground instead. Pass. I'm taking this route, hoping to see a Mr. Wolfie. If not, that's fine. We have a backup. Um, also, the good thing is that so there's one little technicality here when your timer runs out. The Joey mission marker for Dead Skunk is also here, so you have to jump like this. Uh, I technically didn't need to because the timer was still running, but I'm just doing it anyway to prevent a crash. Um, earlier it was mentioned, so sometimes you just have to know, um, for example, that when we got the security car and you cancel Van Heist with the taxi after you damaged the security car, that you can actually cancel. Uh, the mission and not just crash the game because most if you just did a random combination of two different missions you would probably crash the game so we have to uh, complete this mission up to this point um, once Luigi gets in the limo, I can death warp without failing the mission because uh, it's on mission zero, which means, uh, well, pretty much the mode where I can still pick up another mission because the rampage ran out. Um, the death warp helps me here because I can um, get quicker to the Patriot from Patriot Playground. I also make another rampage replay, which is a shotgun rampage replay, it's the alternative location. I will go to the main location in a few minutes. 
Um, here's also a package. If I'm already on here, I might as well pick it up. And now after entering this, usually this would just start Patriot Playground, but because I'm on Salvatore's call to meeting, I not only duke Patriot Playground, but I also passed it instantly. It just lights up in the mission script like this. Um, I like to um, omit the technicalities personally, not to explain something wrong. And we also need to deliver this. And another death war because now I can do her lover. It's past 11 a.m. Uh, as I said before, death warps are also used a lot to um, advance the in-game clock by... Actually, I need a taxi. So I just, might as well... Yeah. You know what? Let's just pick this yeah. up. <laughs> I have until 7 is, p.m. Um, once Chivu got out of the uh, Patriot in the garage, it said uh, mission failed. Because like he said, you duped the mission. Um, only one of those um, instances uh, passes and the other one just keeps going like normal. So when he got out the car, that's like a normal fail condition for it because you like abandon the mission. So that's why it said mission failed. Yeah. He actually did pass it. Yep, yep. That's a good bit to mention. I just mentioned the dupe because, um, well, insta passes are also dupes usually because you combine two missions. Because the first one turns into the second. Ah, I should have maybe picked up the perennial. I still need to switch to a taxi. Um, I should maybe also consider destroying my glitch, Mr. Whoopi. It's probably not too important. Yeah, because we only have so many cars in memory at once. I think the limit in this game is 13, 14, something like that. And that Mr. Wolfie will um, take up one spot indefinitely until it gets destroyed or you like reload the game. So here, instead of using a replay, I just went to the rampage directly for once. Um, you just hold the taxi submission while picking up the rampage and uh, then let go of it when the rampage is starting. Uh, so only the trash masters left. That's correct. Um, all the other vehicles are already um, planned for because of fixed spawns. Or yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have anything glitched besides the Mr. Woody I already picked up anyway. Uh, I technically have time, but before I mess up again, I will ch I will just choose to destroy it on vigilante. Fair enough. Because I just need to make sure that I enter the taxi before the timer runs out, usually you still have like 20 seconds left. Because this mission is actually short, because uh, this is the last mission for Marty Chongs, and while the beginning is the same, the end is very tragic. How many glitch vehicles do you need to reduce traffic to newly nothing in this game? Um, like I said, like the limit is 13, 14, so if you get to around like 10 or so, you will start to notice a lot less traffic. And if you can like glitch like the max amount, then you will get nothing. The max amount in Vice City is 7, I think. So yeah, like you get like double the... Yeah, the, in 3 like, you need... Uh, in, in general, in 3 you need more than in Vice City, much more. <laughs> To yeah. Really reduce traffic. That goes for pedestrians as well, I think. You can have a lot more pedestrians on screen at once in this game. So, uh, this is also. Well, the principle at this point is the same as any percent that you hold. Uh, that you start taxi before the t uh, rampage timer runs out, then hold taxi, and then start Salvatore's call to meeting to insta pass it, and to warp here to Salvatore. Um, one difference is in any percent, so that was already mentioned that you need to already start Salvatore's call the meeting once. In any percent, that's done by, uh, well, starting it and then um, cancelling it with Firefighter. We don't need to do that because we can... Um... Wait a second. I just pick it up now. Uh, that might be a problem. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Okay. Um... 
Where was I? Yeah, uh, we already did that uh, with the Patriot Playground and stuff that, where we started Salvatore's call the meeting. So no need for a fire truck here. Okay, we are done with the vehicles. May uh, probably not the most optimal ones, but uh, it's very important. Otherwise, I would just need to do it during vigilante, or even worse, after vigilante, just driving the road up and down. It's just bad. So. Actually, I'm walking a little bit. Because I really don't want the Kuruma to despawn for once. And marking vehicles is also much slower in this game. Yeah, that's true, so in Vice City you can... Uh, what can you do? You can just shoot the car, for example. Um, here, shooting the cars usually always... I think even always... Um, makes yeah, them 100%. just run away. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, uh, no. Maybe... <laughs> maybe That's I should have restarted the mission. <laughs> <laughs> this will be great. It's not a big deal if I die, I think. Now... Uh, well... Oh my god. Yeah. That's just too many. Oh. It's not the worst thing in the uh, in the world. We just lost maybe a minute. That's not usual. <laughs> no. Got a Great two quick cool donations points. for you on the way back. Yep. We have a uh, one dollar from Southwest who says uh, four eleven looks even better. Hard disagree. And uh, so does Prox because he donated another nine and said these one dollar donations making it uneven will ruin me. And that puts us at four hundred and twenty dollars raised. Dude, we Lamar. Uh so yeah, we just do this mission normally, driving to Chico, this time without triads expecting us or even destroying the limo. Now I don't need to stop for anything, I don't need to pay attention to any vehicles in front of me anymore, I can just freely use my camera switches to despawn all the traffic I need. So that's also good uh, when you manage to get all rare vehicles earlier than later. Then. You can be more optimal with the camera. Um, so we do this mission normally until we reach the next marker and then um, there's actually a cheetah park there that we can take for two unique stun jumps that are here. Um, yeah. Also, otherwise we would need to wait here anyway a little bit for Maria to get in this building and out and for the cutscene mm -hmm. to activate. FM sounds so compressed. Maybe, maybe it's also my settings. I don't know. Like the audio apparently is not too optimal, but at least the worst issues gone. I think at least no one complained since the beginning before. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the best it's gonna be. I think we're rolling with it. This stun jump can go a lot worse than that, so. Yeah, um, that's a good bleeding flip. I still like to. Oops. Oh, uh, I spoke too soon. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm. That was <laughs> dumb of me. I don't understand why I did that. Uh, fans. Yeah. Well, this uh, the second stun jump is a lot easier to do with a slower car, so you can probably do that during Dead Skunk, I think, is a good spot. Yeah, but... uh, Dead Skunk often doesn't really give me a great car, but. Uh, so, uh, but yeah. A cop car I think like you can have an ambulance, right? Like I think 
from what I remember, like you death warp at some point. If the ambulance, I mean, is pretty good at times. For example, the one stunt jump on uh, Deal Steel, where you can actually jump over the billboard. I don't think I've ever done it with a cop car. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's possible with a cop car. Probably. Vigilante is another good spot for the um, stunt jump. I'm pretty sure the ambulance can be clear as well. Yeah, I think I will just, you know, do it on Vigilante. <laughs> I, maybe I should steal this one. Nah, maybe not because of the two stars <laughs> and the slow limo failing again. This ain't gonna be sub 2 fall. And yeah, I didn't expect it after, I don't know, after this fastball already I was like, yeah, sub 2 fall. And no, that won't work. It will be sub 208. Sub pod in that, surely. Maybe I should uh, rectify this time loss with uh, <laughs> with uh, quadruple vigilante on <laughs> short side, uh, not short side storm. I'm almost tempted. I mean, I have backup files. If you if you do have backup files, then um, I think it would be a very cool little showcase. Yeah, I think I should just try it actually. So uh, this mission is cutting the grass. Usually, uh, well, we prepare it by. Uh, Oh, hopefully I won't die on this fall. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it until I was... <laughs> Holy <is> shit. Unlucky. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I didn't realize I took some damage. I, I knew it was gonna do a lot of damage, but uh, only uh, I only realized the HP when I was already falling. I had no idea it did that much damage. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This this run is very speedy. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't need to tap. Uh, so since paramedic was uh, since paramedic is done, uh, I also have infinite sprint. Sometimes I still tap. Uh, I just go the same route here, I guess. Uh, so yeah, instead of taking a taxi and waiting at the club, we. As you can see, 46 damage. Jeez. And I even had something like 40. Yeah. Something you like barely even have enough. Um, yeah, so instead we can... Uh, we can just do other stuff until... Um, uh, until Curly Bob uh, arrives at the harbor and takes the actually parked taxi there. You had 46 HP, oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it does. I know. I usually so my Portland is usually uh, I say Portland until I start bling bling scramble. I was told by comics that I should only do it until it, under surveillance due, but nope. I disagree. A everyone uses uh, BBS start reference, so why change it? So uh, there are two more vehicles that I need to deliver. Since I want to be at the harbor here, I uh, I also take the vehicles that are here that I need to deliver. Actually, yeah, Kuruma is probably the better choice. Just... So there's also a line runner that you saw in Fastball. Now we actually take it to the garage. Not using mission end splitting. Uh, I, I think I should say that, but mission start splitting is usually so much better because mission ends can happen at random spots at, at times and then also you yeah. always you always have this little bit of uh, um what is a delay when you start a mission and wait for the cutscene or skip the cutscene so you can easily just press the split button when you are <laughs> a boomer like me and don't use auto splitters 
most people use auto splitters nowadays, I think. Are you gonna fail? Nice. Shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Usually I. Well. Anyway. Um. So now comes the most hated thing for me in Portland. <laughs> and it's doing this shotgun rampage. Um. You already see what uh, you already saw what the triads could actually do to you. Well, now it's gonna be reality. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> depends. I don't really get any spawns because these pedestrians are still there. I also like to do this. Yeah, so that like despawns um, pedestrians, including dead ones, so you can get more spawns. Oh my god. Scary already. Yeah, I backed myself into this corner. <laughs> now the ambulance is in the way, that's great. So I'm just gonna go here, maybe. Yeah, this is good, this is good. My spawns. A lot of them are bad. So yeah, uh, you also don't want to get overwhelmed, so that's why I rather do this mega jump strat. So you also don't Whoa. complete it immediately. <laughs> I paid attention to this. He almost killed the other one as well, like with like the spread. That would have been bad. Uh, so you only do it up to one because now comes uh, Trites and Tribulations, Duke, which you can do. Here I'm actually using the middle mouse button once because you can use it here as well when you get out of the car. Uh, okay. So oftentimes Trites still stay, and for some reason this mission also spawns trites occasionally so that's why this works here uh, if you cancel vigilante before you get to one kill um i have an idea i'm trying to do this jump now actually i should have probably death warped first nice call. so the end game clock lines up but yeah, if you cancel submissions, the spawns will also be gone, so that's why I kept the Vigilante running until I was at one kill. And now I will not get one. Nope. Let's try the ambulance then, why not? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, well, we will delay this. It doesn't need to happen now. Uh, I also skipped some rain here again. This lined up. So. Uh, for this part, so uh, this part also revolves around the in game clock because you will start the getaway uh, twice, which is a time uh, which is based on the clock from 6 am to uh, 2 pm. It's, it's just 8 hours. So. Um, I just want to quickly address something in the chat. Um, if you don't get that package on the lifting bridge during decoy, you are not doing decoy optimally. How did that back me up? Anyways, Cheever, what yep. are you saying? There's also a rocket rampage replay behind this tree. It's the alternative. We started the main when I tried to, well, do three vents. You didn't work out. Yeah, anyway, uh, so this this can sometimes go wrong with these two sentinels, um, much faster cast than this Monana, um, as long as you don't flip it or it doesn't start burning, you should be fine. Game audio glitching, why should it be? Um, it's fine for me, I don't know. Uh, I 
other than that, we do this mission normally up to this point. Now we still have to wait until the mission passes. The Sentinels will still be aggressive, but during that time we get another package. Oh. They're scary. I'm usually not that scared as long as I actually focus on manipulating them so they don't actually hit me. Uh, well, oh. That was maybe not so good, but... Uh, we also go to the fire truck and we do the firefighter submission, which is very easy in this. Yeah, so he's just like starting firefighter and playing a replay, cancelling firefighter and then doing it over again. Uh, the reason this works with the replay is because the way like you progress through levels in this is the game just has to like check if there's like any fires or if like the car like but it's like spawn is on fire and then the replay there's no car and there's no fire so it's just like oh okay and then you put out the fire and it passes it and you cancel firefighter like that because normally when you pass level in firefighter you have to wait i think three seconds before another fire spawns but if you like just cancel and start again it spawns another fire instantly makes it a little bit faster and he also started this rampage with firefighter and Cancelled firefighter started a bunch of times, which destroys cars, which also counts towards this rampage, which is a destroyed vehicle rampage. So now he only has to do one more uh, explosion, but he's gonna start a mission first and then pass the rampage, so he can be on mission zero on the mission, which is a getaway, which will be duping. And I, I don't know if it was mentioned. Uh, maybe I kind of zoned out. But uh, in GTA 3, if you're wondering why, like. In the other games, you wouldn't be able to turn off Firefighter and flick it on and on like that. But in GTA 3, there isn't actually like 12 levels of Firefighter like there is in the other games. Uh, it's just you have to extinguish, I think, 20 fires on each island, right? Yeah. To get percentage. Yep. So, yeah, you, you, can, you can just turn it off and um, do it whenever you want. As long as you extinguish 20 fires, you'll get the percentage. A lot like Vigilante, which is 20 um, kills per island. Yeah, um, I started the getaway before the last kill, now the last kill put me on mission zero, which means I can start another mission, but I'm not going to start one immediately. Uh, I can also take this package. It's also not the most, I don't know, convenient one to pick up at any point. We just do it now. Could have also been done during Vigilante. Vigilante usually gives you a lot of scent marks, criminals as well. Um, but just because the rampage uh, ran out doesn't mean that suddenly uh, this mission is any different from what we usually do at least up to the heist itself. I also record a bribe replay because uh, you need to um, lose all your stars when you want to complete this mission. But the on mission zero stuff will still be relevant because now it will um, be different from the usual instead of immediately driving back to where we picked up the mafia guys we actually go to Joey and start the next instance of getaway. So sometimes some of these guys die uh, during the cutscene, if all of them die, which is very rare, but has happened to some people, to mean uh, it hasn't yet, um, then you can actually fail with this. Yeah, that's like incredibly rare, it's never happened to me before either. And just one thing that I need to pay attention to, so I started the mission, so it, it requires me to use the horn if I want to pick up new guys, but first I want to deliver these guys, which is just a normal marker. So now I end my first instance and I go on with my second instance picking up these guys. The reason for it will be uh, there will be the Blowfish Insta Pass now. Here, so you need to be on like this state on the mission where you picked up uh, the robbers to Insta Pass Blowfish. So you can have you can pass the getaway and do this Insta Pass at the same time instead of doing this Insta Pass and then doing the getaway fast. 
And again, it says mission failed because one instance fails. <laughs> Happens a bunch yeah. of times. You can tell that it's actually passed because you get the money for it. You can see his money go up. And yeah, yeah the little music as well. This is the second um, RC blow up gang cars missions out of four. There's no um, rampage or anything like that convenient, but we can do here. It's just kind of blow up one ma mafia car and sit here and be AFK. Uh, ask us questions, or even can read out donations. I was gonna say about the uh, the getaway. Um, if I remember correctly, isn't it the case that the like some of the like mission parts are still left behind? So the 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 alarm will just be like permanently going off, like even towards the end of the run when you come back to Portland. Oh, If you drive yeah. past the bank, the alarm is permanently. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Um, the side effect of the dude. Yeah. Yep, yep, the alarm will be there forever now. Um, I don't know, maybe at some point I might save and reload the game. Actually, if, well, we were mentioning quadruple vigilante, so maybe I should do it. Yeah. I might actually do it in Portland already. The save and reload? Yeah. Maybe a little safer. I didn't know you could uh, crush the RC car. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is a little cool thing to do while you wait. Yeah, thank wait. you very much to Crucial for the big, fat, juicy SA Hunter. Oh. Thank Welcome, you. Guys. Welcome, SA Hunter viewers. Uh, what you can also see is from the taxi instapass, the fares are left over, um, also because of instapasses. A safe and reload would actually clear that up. Otherwise, we would see the kill count. Uh, I mean, we would see the kill count usually for this mission. Um, later on, there are some missions where it can be maybe good if you know um, the progress of the mission. And it's yeah, not like hidden. Smackdown. Yeah, so that's also another reason why I was just thinking about the safe and reload during a match. In an actual run, we also do it because that's actually um, needed for quadruple vigilant. So I can combine them. But I also don't want to mend you the right in the park later, so maybe um, that's why I was thinking about doing the safe and reload even in Portland already. Speaking of uh, crucial, by the way, to the Raiders. So after this run, we have uh, Tezero coming on for GTA 2 on missions. And then uh, tomorrow, we have crucial on for the entire day because he will be doing uh, San Andreas 100% starting at 11 a.m. CET. And it'll be running for around 12 or 13 hours. So the entire day tomorrow will be dedicated to crucial and his uh, exceptional gaming ability. So if you're a big fan of Crucial's SA 100% streams, be sure to stick around tomorrow. Yep. SA 100. <laughs> Is it the longest one? Probably. Should be. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The only the only thing longer is Vice City Stories under it. You know, no one, no one wants to do that. And that is still yet probably. to have a single single run properly completed. Very sad. So uh, we pick up the Rampo instead of the Mafia Sentinel and some other runs because we deliver this Rampo to the garage as well. Uh, I'm also trying to do something else here after I kill all these guys. Because there's still one more package that I'm going to pick up in Portland before we unlock Storm. We also have uh, $20 from Gross Baz saying, fine, I'll break the weed number. Boo. Thanks to the runners and Eben for creating a very chill marathon to watch. Yeah. Thank you, Ghost mm. So this is the run to the pack before the cutscene starts. Oh, that's a little far. And now you walk back to this spot, so. <laughs> 
Otherwise, you would need to re-enter this Rumpo and go there again and then run back to this Rumpo. So this saves some good time if you actually get it. And now, only what's only really left now is uh, Vigilante and the one jump I missed <laughs> before last requests. So we can try this with an ambulance. Uh, I mean, actually, I need to do Vigilante right after. So yeah, you might as well. Like, yeah, might as yeah. well check this first. Um, oh yeah, and the M16 rampage uh, before I actually forget it. This is a nice spawn already. Uh, so there's a little trick here that if you wait at least eight seconds, you can use um, the pause to make them uh, exit their cars. Yeah, it works the same way with um, pausing and markers to slow down. Um, in vigilante, like uh, criminals get out of their car if they're stuck, or like put it like more technically if their vehicle speed is uh, really low or I think actually zero and pausing like like we said at the beginning of the run sets your uh, speed to zero and that just forces them out because they think that they've stopped. So this is the alternative M16 spot. It's, it's actually really nice for spawns. And since you have this overpowered weapon you don't need to worry as much as with the triads earlier with shotgun. In this game, there are um, certain spots where the density of heads and how many heads can spawn in a single spot is higher than others. And in this spot, like that, like the head density is pretty high, and you just get like constant spawns. It's really nice here. Oh, perfect for. Oh yeah, this is actually really ideal. Yeah. Again, I need to wait for the timer. I'm, I'm not sure what the explanation is for. Uh, I wanted to see, so I also want to pick up an Uzi. Um, so I don't need to do it during Sayonara Sakatora. Also, it helps with kills sometimes. Sometimes the criminals control you a little with how they move once they exit the vehicle. I don't like how this looks. Uh, sure. That's fine. Actually, I should have done this earlier. You can also break this animation. Sadly, unlike in Vice City, this doesn't speed up the USJ. Yeah, the slow mo doesn't get killed, but the camera angle does. Yep. Okay, so the only thing I can think of right now is so the Uzi, uh, probably just destroying this Mr. Whoopi that is still glitched. Um, uh, you need 20 criminals per island, so this will also take some minutes. It's probably a little more exciting than... Uh, well, this is less than two minutes. Uh, the timer is also based on the distance, but it's always going to be at least two minutes. Uh, so yeah. When it says Trenton, even though Trenton is kind of big and it can be uh, much further away, um, I saw the two minutes timer, so I decided to go for the criminal anyway, and that was definitely worth it, I would say. Yeah, basically, like the like how long you have to uh, kill a criminal depends on like the distance from you, and if it's like the minimum, which is two minutes, you can assume that they're pretty close. Actually, the safe and reload would have probably removed this as well, right? <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh yeah, would have. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you know what? I mean, since I'm here, this this is a good spot. Yeah. Why not? I just canceled this one. I'm just gonna do it. Because then I can choose to rather set up for not man duping for a right in the park instead of doing both at once. So one thing the save and reload does, so it removed the fares one, uh, the fares thing that was already mentioned. Another thing it, it is it changes the mission script order for well what missions are available. Right now, important for us is Vigilante and uh, Firefighter, which are always available. Um, we will combine them later, and the order is changed after... So when we combine them, when we do it from a new game, and start... Well, 
then start to actually dupe what will happen will uh, be that firefighter starts but if we save and reload once the orders changed and vigilante will start and I already mentioned uh, we do quadruple vigilante duping firefighter is not really any uh, something we need or yeah Still haven't really checked the news on uh, Chinatown. So yeah, here you can hear the alarm which was... Oh, it doesn't reset when you reload. Interesting. Yeah, I confirmed it when uh, Ben mentioned it, maybe. maybe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if you... <laughs> It's fine. Let's so uh, the pager message is for 10 criminals. Um, it delivers a bribe for the safe house. Um, sadly, they are not that um, great for us because um, if you go far away from the safe house, they actually despawn. So um, they, they are usually only used when you are at the safe house for some reason want to get rid of wanted stuff. It can happen during the run, maybe something bad happens and you just want to clear out wanted stuff. I think I saw one. I thought I saw one. Uh, was it St. Mark's? I think I saw or Maybe Portland View. St. Mark's, okay. Yeah, this is... Now the only thing left before I start last requests. Howard. Uh, so uh, since we go to Salvatore after this, I want to end here. Um, sometimes criminals that spawn north like this uh, line up really well. I hope they will continue lining up that well. Yeah, towards the end of uh, Vigilante, he'll like try to stick to this area. In the meantime, you can like kind of go wherever as long as they're close, but, like try to stick there towards the end. So he's probably going to be keeping count in his head, like how close he is to finishing, because there's no like indicator on the screen how many he's killed. Wait, ah, uh, he did turn around. I was wondering. Yeah, so they can turn around here when they are taking this road, but first he. Actually, there is an indicator. It says like kills five, but that's like since he started vigilante last. Like right here, it's gonna reset to be zero. But it doesn't matter. You just have to kill twenty total, not twenty in a row. It didn't show the location, but I will just uh, take it because the timer is like, two minutes. And it's like kind of close to St. Mark's. Yeah. Well, actually, it's in St. Mark's. Even. Yeah, he turns. There's a roadblock. <laughs> he would do that. Yeah, I mean, I should have thought about it because there's this, <laughs> so... Should, should yeah, have they, still... can, they can't drive through that. Uh, so, I, I need one full clip, so I'm still not using my Uzi for now, but... Uh... And I actually didn't keep count, although I should have, as mentioned. I must be close though, because I kept count when I had 12, so I'm just going to reset trend. Nice. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that one. You know what? Oh, yeah. This is much better. Yeah, sometimes they do this. And then you have to wait another 8 seconds, I think, for them to get back out. Unless you blow up their car like that, then they have no choice. Watch this one be the last. Yep, it's gonna be the last. I knew it. Two hours done already. 
Damn. <laughs> well, this should be like wow. a 207, maybe. Still sub pardon it. I think from here on it's usually six minutes, sometimes seven. Again, it also, I guess, depends if you fake or not. Should probably do it. Wasn't paying that. I'm not sure if this is still. I think um you wouldn't lose any time if you didn't fake. The thing is, Sayonara Salvatore also rarely just takes the two and a half minutes. So when there's like ten seconds more, I usually decide not to. So faking uh, means that we use replays to delay the in-game clock because like in any percent yesterday. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> So here's a grenade rampage replay first. But like in any percent, well, Sayonara Salvatore is coming up. It's a mission that rounds up the in game clock and then adds two and a half in game hours, which is two and a half minutes real life. Um, real time, I should say. Um, so you don't want the rounding to be too much because, it can, uh, because the rounding is just additional waiting time. Just a little bored. <laughs> I was actually thinking about just randomly shooting cop cars like this because when you have one star, cop cars don't spawn. So and cop cars can't be despawned by uh, camera. Genius. I mean, sometimes it depends. Like if you do it and then realize, oh shit, I have to stop because I pick up a package or something, then you have a cop there. <laughs> <laughs> that can be annoying. Yeah. So I actually don't need to fake this lines up pretty well. There will only be maybe three seconds of additional time, which is which uh, means that it's very likely I have to do that during the mission unless I get lucky because we will also... So first of all, um, one of the cars you can't find in Portland, but you can find here immediately also as a random spawn it's the blister and you have to also take it to the portland garage so the whole clock uh, rounding up plus two and a half minutes is uh, that's the time when salvatore comes out uh, and of luigi's club to kill him and since it's just waiting time uh, we do some Stuff while waiting, like delivering this list. This time, this game's kind of fast. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's, it's much it's better okay. than some other cars. It's really fast coming down this little hill. Bridge. Now, uh, well, if you remember, we recorded. Well, this is gonna add probably more faking. Um, we recorded the grenade rampage replay. Uh, we will do that rampage right after Sayonara Salvatore uh, to also dupe under surveillance, which is in Staunton. Um, so, for that to do safely, I don't think we really mentioned this in this run. Yesterday it was mentioned, but uh, it's it's much safer to start rampages with submissions and not with missions themselves, because that's what we usually refer to man duping, where we where you could also run into a mission marker and uh, time um, the rampage replay right before the mission starts, and it depends on cycles also to line up. Uh, mission pickup cycles and the rampage start cycle. So even if you have perfect timing, it will not always work for your uh, yeah. yeah for your favor. So he has to fake like a few seconds here, otherwise he's going to be late and it will be awkward. He wants to get in there like as they leave, which is in four seconds. Yeah. 
And this uh, subway package there is only accessible once you uh, unlock Staunton. So this was pretty much also kind of the first opportunity to really get it, which we do right away. So this is the grenade rampage. Maybe maybe I record four. This was probably not enough. <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, this is a nice mega jump to the next island. Uh, and similarly to other rampages where we did them until one kill, this time it's four. We first start this mission once, then complete the rampage. We can do it in the replay because the cars here are actually burning and exploding. If you record a replay that is at least five second, uh, seconds long. <laughs> Second. Um, that was actually a really good grenade rampage as well. Yeah. And uh, this pretty much completes Portland as... <laughs> we like to define it. If you ask comics, we already completed it. <laughs> a little earlier. Yeah. Um, so, so our, our like general timer is when we start this mission right here. I can't see the timer, so I don't know what time it is. For me, it says two seven fourteen. I think. I don't see my yeah, splits. I only see the time. That makes sense considering um, the mistakes in that. It's not even that bad, really. Yeah, I mean, it's still very comfortably below the estimate especially yeah and portland is kind of the hardest part because of its non-linearity it's 40 percent of the run uh of, well of the objectives that you have to complete like if if uh, if you you know checked all the objectives completed and counted them then it would say 40.91 percent right now actually i have the checklist open So first of all, this mission, there are two checkpoint patterns where you can get, and it, and you figure out which pattern you get after picking up this first checkpoint, and this is going to be the bad pattern. Okay, so it's not a huge deal, but it just means that like this pattern's like less optimal because like it takes longer for um, the AI to reach checkpoints. Um, so it just means that the mission will pass a little slower. It's not. Really that big of a deal, yeah, really. on average I would say it's like 30 seconds, but bad pattern usually also means that you can pick up two additional packages without really That's true, ever losing it? time. This is an interesting one. Yeah, I'm not sure what this AI is doing. And before he picks it up before me. That would be actually really bad. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be that bad. Oh just my have god, dude. What is happening in this run? This takes forever, usually... Oh my god. He's gonna take it! He's actually gonna take it? Okay. If this, if this AI, like, learned where the other checkpoint and is, And he or picked what? it up, actually. Oh my god. I don't know That's... the exact lineup, so... <laughs> yeah, for some That's reason, like... when they are close to you, they are also trying to attack you. Yeah, this cheat... Sentient AI. Jesus. Um, also... So you have to get like at least like seven or eight checkpoints to be safe so you don't fail. Seven is usually safe, even if it's possible that one could pick yeah. up eight, but I don't think I've ever seen that, actually. That's really rare. Um... And in this case, obviously, um, they can't pick up eight because Tita picked up one and one of your ones picked up another one, so... Uh, this one will be more. So really... I should really not fail this because then I should have enough time to pick up enough uh, checkpoints. So I know there's free card in that. I know. So we don't talk about the third one. This USJ is it can be very annoying. Um, it sometimes depends on what car you get. Yeah. 
I want generally to. like taller cars or cars that don't handle bumps really well, don't do a USB very well, but the Banshee is really good with it. I think I actually use uh, it to my advantage that this car is stuck. <laughs> Usually it's not an advantage at all. <laughs> oh well. I have oh. seven. That's fine. You can apply. Well, at least it's guaranteed that I will not fail this mission. Sadly, the AI was complete, <laughs> complete garbage on this. Uh, yeah. Bling bling scramble. We also call it they big bullshit for the acronym. Yeah. BBS. They will finish the mission for you now by just like getting the rest of the checkpoints, so we can clean up some packages here, and then go to the next mission. Um, you've been holding paramedics this entire time, right? Yes. Uh, I think I mentioned yeah. it briefly, but. One. He's gonna use it to rampage start um, the next mission, paramedic. Well, more like the AI. <laughs> yeah, actually, the AI was uh, smart because they <laughs> took that one checkpoint. Yeah. Okay, the split timer is already four minutes thirty-five. I think um, you can you can have a low four with this pattern. So I don't know, four or five. That's actually not bad, considering the yeah. pattern and um, this rampage cheater. start is pretty much just for this mission. Uh, and well, you can get 30k rockets if you saw yesterday. Um, it's also beneficial here, but it's harder here because we don't have a, a replay from another island, which would be Portland, um, which makes it easier to get 30k rockets by spamming them when uh, spamming replays when the rampage runs out. Uh, the good thing is it's also not really mandatory. Of course, it's better for speed, but it's not really mandatory, you know, to complete this run. Wait, confirming that you have only 8 use Jace? I mean, I always have 8 use Jace at this point. Maybe it was some chat message context that I didn't see, but uh, anyway. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what it means. Uh, other than that, this mission is straightforward. It's probably difficult casually if you don't know the map, etc. That was also mentioned briefly yesterday. Um, because you have to, you are on a timer that is uh, hidden a little bit by the rampage timer. Yeah, this is actually a very difficult mission. Uh, also, Watch top ten or something like that. Maybe it's a good point to also mention again the cameras uh, because that's some. Sometimes it's uh, occurring again in the chat. Why? we are switching like this. The top-down camera despawns traffic. In Staunton you have longer roads where you can just keep the top-down camera. Okay, that was maybe a little early for the spam, but um, so the game fails to uh, remove your rockets when you end the ramp page during a replay. Otherwise, if you just failed it normally or completed it, even it would remove all the 30k rockets. But well, and 30k is is it's because it's the actual amount you get um, from the rampage. It it doesn't show normally, but now that we are not on a rampage and the game didn't remove the rockets, you could see I have 30k rockets, which makes this part easier and safer and faster, like in any percent. So that was the last phone which leads us to Ray, which gives us our next mission as well, right here. Uh, this is one of the missions that definitely benefit from rockets. Um, usually you only get 12 grenades, we just death warp, so we don't really have any weapons. Uh, but thanks to the 30k rockets this will be much easier to do because you have to shoot or throw a grenade into a window we just shoot because we have the rockets 
and then uh, a car comes up from the garage down below here and we just shoot it to kill a guy. With grenades, um, as I said, it's a little slower. Sometimes you can be unlucky and the grenade clips through the ground. That's why it's also safer. So it's not really optimal. I have rain here. I wasn't really paying attention to that anymore, I have to admit. Um, there's a little trick here. We can sadly skip the cutscene, but what we can do is so he will now stop. We will just <laughs> play a pause. So he goes a little further, and then we can also just hold shift for him not to talk. Otherwise, he would just talk a little bit and extend the cutscene a little more. And I think once he starts talking, you can't skip the talk. We can also skip another hour of rain, which would happen now. So the rain skips uh, have to be done when the in-game clock minutes are at 15 up. Which is the reason why sometimes, you know, you just forget about it. You, you have the benefit that you know what the weather cycle is before run, you can learn it if you want and then anticipate the rain, but sometimes you just forget about it anyway. Uh, other than that, this mission leads you back to Portland. This isn't the only mission that leads you back to Portland. Um, you have to kill 10 Diablo guys while staying in the car. Usually I start looking back earlier, so the reason why I do this is because right at the, at the moment I'm in Hepburn Heights, I like to switch to normal camera, so I actually spawn uh, Diablo guys, otherwise they would potentially spawn other pedestrians. This is a really nice Uzi Rider. Yeah, that was really fast, Jesus. It doesn't always go like this, uh, even if you do the camera manipulation a little bit to get better pets. But, uh, this time I really can't complain. Uh, other than that, we also use the camera switches again, just right back. Um, I don't really know why the mission ends at the spot it ends, because it seems kind of random, but it ends like in between. I guess it's because it's like... Yardy turf. Yeah, yeah, that that I guess makes no sense. Uh, so you are with Yardies, um, the green formations after King Court, I think is the name. It's it's yeah. a Yardy boss. I don't know. I just go this way. I don't really try much to get a stallion, uh, a random stallion instead of a fixed one. Um, we already talked about the next mission that it's that is coming up here, but yeah, I guess yeah. This is Yadi Turf. This is Newport. They spawn here, so I guess that is. Oh shit! Ooh. <laughs> That's so um, there's a fixed stallion there, and if you enter it in the garage here, the, you will not start this mission. So we already mentioned it that this one is re uh, really well hidden and probably found. It was found randomly. But if you, for example, like I did, just find a random stallion and um, you happen to um, enter it just randomly because you wanted to steal a new car or something and then suddenly start this mission then <laughs> in your casual playthrough or something, then consider yourself lucky that you found it to begin with. Yeah. Uh, other than that, this mission is just, uh, well, it, most missions really are straightforward, it's, it usually only gets bad when something technical happens, uh, I guess for a viewer. Uh, this is done completely normally, as you will. There's some, like, invisible walls in the um, parking garage we have to, like, drive around to. Oh yeah, true. So here, this is something. This is one of the most difficult things, at uh, overall, 
to get, but it saves a pretty nice amount of time and it's to get this checkpoint and the USJ at the same time. Because there's a un unique stunt jump there. I, uh, maybe I'm lucky. Yeah, nice. Wow, um, that's really hard. Because the checkpoint is a little more to the right and the unique stunt jump is a little more to the left. If I was slightly more to the right, I wouldn't have gotten this USJ. So, uh, yeah, and if you don't get the unique stunt jump, because you should prioritize the checkpoint to finish this mission. Because if you uh, prioritize the unique stunt jump, you can also easily flip the stallion or something. Just switch, maybe. Uh, there's a little bit of a longer drive, so I might as well switch to a faster car. Like this. Um, so this is arm shortage. It's it's not done, I guess, like usual because you pick up a package, but it's still very straightforward. Um, yeah, so yeah, otherwise you pick up the last checkpoint and then you have to go back to the garage. You usually also switch cars because the stallion is not so great. And then. Um, uh, just do the unique stunt jump separately. So this is what you can do when you have rockets. Um, Otherwise you would need to jump on this container on the right, you can maybe see the rockets, maybe not. It was a little hidden. Um, yeah, so we picked up this package. Um, we, we also pick up the M16. 30k rockets is great, but rockets sometimes are not the weapon to choose. Uh, and yeah. The M16 is, I guess, another weapon. Uh, if we... If I didn't have these rockets, I would buy rockets as well here now because you also need like five more if you want it to be fast. Um, also, there's this barracks O that we need to deliver to the Portland crane. Um, He's gonna store us for now and he'll deliver it on a later mission where you go back to Portland. Yep, and we will also get two stars because then, uh, it will be a setup for something, well, two missions later. Kambu bust out the first Kenji mission. Uh, we want a cop car for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also store one to save me from a man dupe in a marathon. Well, this will take maybe slightly longer because he didn't really follow me. Yeah, he got stuck on the wall. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. It's not the biggest deal. So if you have a weapon out, um, they will always take cover like this or some, something uh, on the side you are also on, so this makes it really easy to steal uh, cop cars with uh, two stars, if you know that. Uh, this one is stored for not doing a man dupe later, this one will be used for this uh, mission setup, two missions. And now I can also bribe away one star, usually one star is enough. Um, I already mentioned if you have one star, cop cars don't spawn. Uh, I don't know the technical explanation other than they probably coded it in or the intended. Yeah, they must, <laughs> must be intended. Because they only want cops to like ch chase you in like cars like at two stars or more. So. Also, I should spam Vigilante if I actually plan on quadruple Vigilante. So. Uh, one important thing for duped vigilantes later is that you need, well, you want preferably all the cool models uh, loaded before you do it because if they are not loaded and wait a second and um, well, you, you get one of these not loaded models, you will just crash the game. On Duke Vigilantes. This is also a unique stunt jump. It can troll you a little bit. Well, a little bit. If it trolls you, you usually die, which is not great. <laughs> yeah. So I should maybe say a little bit. But I think this setup I like to doing is turning after these two ramps on the left that are there. Um, makes me usually not get trolled and 
It's also a little slower, which means that you don't go a little too fast against the wall there. So, yeah. This was Two Face Tenor, a refer <laughs> reference. <laughs> if, if anyone gets it, <laughs> I just remembered reference. So this is why we need a cop car. This mission can go bust up. First mission of Kenji. Um, we set up a bomb. This one is timed. Once you activate it, it will explode in a couple of seconds. To explode this wall where Kenji is at. Wait, is it? No, not Kenji. What? That guy doesn't have a name, right? <laughs> I actually don't remember his name. Kenji is the mission giver, actually. sorry. Uh, Kenji is the mission giver. I'm not sure if he, if this guy has a name. It says get him to the Yakuza Dojo, so... Oh, Oriental. No, that's not... No, come on. Uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a troll to me. Kanbu? Kanbu. Oh. Yeah, Kanbu is mentioned. Uh, well, I guess even in the mission. Maybe. But that sounds more like know. not a person, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go, Kanbu. I need to remember this. This is much harder to remember now that I'm commentating. <laughs> it should still be fine. It actually doesn't take that much spamming to fill up this list pretty well. The problem is. Um, Sometimes vehicles can actually get unloaded because there's only a maximum of 50 loaded vehicles at once, so that's the reason why quadruple vigilante is actually not really safe on my phone. Or duke vigilante in general. So here I'm spamming replays to uh, not get this falling animation. And other than that I'm just picking up packages that are here in the rampage. Um, the Yardis are not aggressive, so you can just shoot them from here. Really easy rampage. Shot the arm. Not, not the most exciting rampage, but it's easy, so that's also appreciated in a run where you have to remember a lot of things as well. Uh, the next mission has a very nice ti uh, name. <laughs> it's called Grand Theft Auto. And it's probably That's one of the most game. boring missions in the series. <laughs> <laughs> we steal cars that are parked. Really not That's that That's literally easy. it. But you can't damage them. That's like basically the only like twist. Yeah. Like they have to be in perfect condition. And um, even if you I damage was, them, uh, the garage uh, that you should deliver them is right next to the paint spray. Yeah, I'm not sure if they like realize that or not, but it's really easy. <laughs> so just prepare them. Can't appreciate this mission proper education. Well, educate us. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's something we are missing, technically or something. Maybe it's coded well or. <laughs> <laughs> To me it sounds like you could have jumped into this discord and actually talked about things as well. <laughs> There's one more package, we have 40. Uh, every 10 packages deliver a weapon to your safe house. Maybe that's something worth mentioning. We don't really use it much to our advantage. Sometimes if we die unintentionally or something it's really easy to restock. but. Thanks for the money, sir. 
<laughs> reference garden. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can turn this into a reference garden. Or, I don't know, spam or something. <laughs> the good thing is, uh, these are among the fastest cars possible. The Cheetah and the Infernus as the last one. Stinger is not one of the fastest. Oh, well, it's, it's a sports car, so it's automatically one, but probably the weakest spots though. yeah for sure that doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad but I mean more like weak it's, well top speed for one but you could argue that the Banshee and the police car and the Mafia Sentinel all have the same top speed but there's also acceleration and so on also sometimes it just I guess depends on what you prefer so. As the, how should I say, driving style or whatever. Um, here is also yeah. Grenade Rampage Reaper. Because personally, for example, I like the Yakuza Stinger, but you pretty much always have to handbrake if you want to turn. Yeah. And that also has, like, not very great um, acceleration. Yeah. And then the Cheetah is extremely bouncy, but it has the second best top speed and a better acceleration than this Infernus, which has the fastest top speed. So yeah, the mission is done, and now comes the part where I save myself from the Mandu. Um, the grenade rampage that I just recorded is part of it. I will actually go back to the cop car and... Well, I don't need to, apparently. Oh. I could have saved myself from doing this. Well, mm -hmm. usually you are not lucky to see one like this. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I should maybe not despawn in case I accidentally despawn there. <laughs> okay, it's here. So we started... Um, in this case, I can just start it with Vigilante, which is the reason why the cop car is good. And also because we need a cop car right afterwards, so that's another reason. Oh, sure, yeah, that is useful. Why uh, a cop car specifically? Well, Taxi is dead, so you don't really have easy access to other submissions at that point. But... So the Landstalker is not a great car to drive. Can flip very easily. The park has a lot of bumps and everything. Uh, if you have done this mission uh, often enough, you will know how to navigate through this, hopefully without flipping. Uh, what's most important is also that I'm on this rampage timer and I want to start evidence dash before the timer runs out. For the next insta pass. Yeah, Flip Stalker is also a nickname you could use for this. Uh, this was a bad approach. I should leave this camera. Usually I take one of the closer cameras for this mission. This last checkpoint. And I started evidence dash before the time runs out. Now I can so so usually what we or what I would do in normal runs is I wouldn't have done this uh, cop car thing, but I would have just tried starting uh, right in the park and the grenade rampage uh, w together, where I play the replay right as the mission starts. But that's not you know that can fail and. That will also lose you two minutes. And then I would, after starting Evidence Dash, I would uh, look for a random cop car, which can also sometimes not spawn immediately, and you have to get two stars, so... Uh, this is kind of similar to the blue phones, I guess you could say. Um, wow, first try. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... Uh, we started Evidence Dash, we got on mission zero. 
and then if you just enter the marker normally, uh, well, you would crash the game, so you have to not stay in the marker when you start Genka Roundup. When you start Genka Roundup, while Evidence Dash is running like that, um, you will insta-pass it. Um, funny enough, this insta-pass is not used in all missions because it doesn't uh, increase the counter, but it increases the percentage, so... Um, technically... And the mission... The mission stays unlocked also, so when you go to start Kingdom Come, you have a chance at starting Gankar Roundup instead. And the way you get around that is like, if you happen to start Gankar Roundup again, you just start Vigilante to cancel it, so you hold Vigilante before starting it, obviously. Yep. And, and then you try again. And if you get Kingdom Come, then you can uh, start Vigilante and cancel it before the mission actually starts, which is the way you did. And then you can proceed like normal. Yeah, and if I if I had another Genka roundup, then I would skip the cutscene normally, and then after that you can start Vigilante to cancel Genka roundup, and then you hold Vigilante again, oops, and you retry. Yeah. Until you see Kingdom Come. So me getting the like, first try was nice. I guess like in fear gets fifty percent. I'm not sure if it's actually fifty percent, but it makes sense. Yeah, I don't fear. really know either. Um, there's also another older strat uh, where you can change the mission script order by saving and reloading um, and then just uh, enter the marker normally um, once you are past the game car round up instead of so It still requires this uh, not staying in the marker still, I think. Yeah, it would still For the insta pass itself. So this fire truck usually always appears. I feel like most of the times it also trolls you. Other than that, this is just a normal flamethrower rampage. Uh, also, I recorded a rocket rampage replay uh, before the interesting Kingdom Come bit where we destroyed the vans and killed the few guys that spawned from them. Uh, because this is a nice spot to do this rampage, so we just load it normally. We don't use it for any kind of dupes or anything. We just take this set up here. And after, after you kill some of them, you quickly look away to despawn the limbs, because if they stay, then uh, that kind of blocks spawning new ones. Shoutouts to Odysseus, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we used to do it on the roof here, where there's also a package, which is, we will go here. It this. was a much worse spot. Yeah. Sometimes it didn't spawn anything, I feel like. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. it did spawn like normally, but this is so much better. Um, so yeah, this is Deal Steel. Uh, we would use this mission to uh, pick up some packages if we needed to, if we didn't on Bling Bling Scramble, we did. Other than that, we just take this road. When it shows new port, I switch camera so I can potentially spawn a... What is it called again? Yardi something. Yardi Lobo? Oh yeah, Lobo. Um, I just call him like Yardi Car. Yeah, I also just say that. Uh, annoying flip. Well, convenient. Yeah. This is the car he needs. Yeah, the cop car really doesn't matter. It's just good for driving. Just because it's a leftover from before. Um, this is also a mission where uh, it pays off that we actually bought a F-16 and not use rockets. And also use the pause to activate them quicker. It was a little awkward because of the rain. I'm not used to that. Yeah, the one like accidentally killing. Uh, you have to meet up with some Colombians here. 
this will skip some rain while I'm at it. Because uh, if you shoot rockets, they can be also shot. It's one of the things why you don't want to use rockets on this one. Um, yeah, not sure. Otherwise, really, I mean, that's pretty. Mu that's probably pretty much the reason. So, so you don't want them to be shot because then they explode next to you and you fall down, yeah. lose HP, and so on. This this looks like a slight detour, I guess it technically also is, but it's again another package that we just have to pick up at some point. I will be very careful here. <laughs> Don't want to embarrass myself uh, falling into the water. Have you ever done that before? Yeah, uh, it was even recently. Some, uh, yeah. Someone. Because sometimes when you switch from sprint to... Uh, to normal walking and then also, um, yeah, that, that can also be a little slide or something and that slide trolled me. I, I had a stupid slide that made me launch into the water. So this ambulance can make past this. Uh, it does. It looks like it's going to. Yeah. Sadly, we also flipped it though. It's, well, will we just take a security card? Ah, fuck. I wanted to take the taxi, but then the lights turn green. But let's just take this. Um, the important part is that we t uh, we get a cop car also. Um, con it's convenient that there's one here, close to the mission end. So we don't really care about random spawns for once. You can take a random spawn, but as far as I can tell, the cop car, for example, can go over this billboard. So I like to keep the ambulance. Up to that point. At least that's my experience. Maybe someone did it before. This is just the mission end. So yeah, after after the meet with the Colombians, there wasn't really much to it. Just driving back. Um, now comes another one of the things that can. Well, that shouldn't really go too badly, but who knows. It's this Molotov Rampage, we again do it while Vigilante is running. So this is another example of doing a Rampage before we kill all of them and then starting a mission. On. Also the fire is much bigger than it looks, I think, so I just yeah. stay in the middle of the road and look left and right instead of... So this is two kills left. It's kind of difficult to just kill one guy, so I just start Shima now for the first time. Um, as I said before, once you uh, cancel the submission, you don't get extra spawns that Rampages give you. Um, yeah, you would just get like normal like you know area spawns. So you can only really use it to your advantage if there is natural spawns like these guys. Or sometimes, like on Triads and Tribulations, where Triads spawn uh, still for some reason in St. Mark's, although it's not the area. And now we dupe Shima, so it will not be obvious immediately why we did it, because we will actually just do this mission normally. But after that, it's important. After we finished it once. Very similar premise to the getaway dupe, where one just keeps running and you can use a dance to pass another mission. Which in this case is Casino Calamity or the Staunton RC mission. So we're gonna have to like wait around for two minutes. So this is a shotgun rampage replay. Uh, as always you don't see it because I'm on a mission when I record the uh, we also want two stars again. I, I will not get it immediately after this marker only. Uh, there's also 
a reason why we don't um, enter it with the car because it turns it into a mission vehicle and uh, we'll still despawn it even if we uh, park it in the garage, but we want it for later. Actually, let me just shoot. Uh, but we, since this mission also leads us, oh wait. Oh uh, yeah, because I took a random copy. <laughs> I was wondering why the garage didn't open. So yeah. Um, since it leads us to Portland again, we should also use this opportunity to deliver something to the crane, and this is the barracks hole on this mission. Uh, well, this vehicle is used uh, by, what is it, military, I guess, when you have six stars. So it falls under the, I don't know, government vehicles that you need to deliver to the crane, I guess. Yeah. So we also take the detour to the crane. And the reason for two stars is literally just because we... Uh, want to also lure a cop car to the crane so we can just have a fast car after we delivered this. Otherwise we would need yeah. to take a Yankee or a Kuruma then or something. The cars that you have to choose from here are very bad yeah. compared to a cop car. Um, I guess an interesting thing here is that well, we don't have a bright replay for once, so we just have to endure the two stars for a little bit. We will actually pick up a bright, but that's more of a consequence of the USJ that was routed in for this mission instead of uh, the first two hours of Portland. Um, there's also something that can happen here when I do the stunt jump, and it happened to me three times in a row recently. We jump on these. Yep, train tracks, and there's a train. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, why we go no. back and try again. You can do that stunt jump with the train there, but like, it doesn't end well most of the time. Uh, that was not good. <laughs> I might lose the cop car, plus I'm not picking up the bribe. Um, I guess I can. Ah, uh, actually. Nope. Oh. I fucked it up a little bit. Nearly. I should have just kept straight before I had a better camera view. The good thing is I still have two stars, so I can just get a new one, I guess. That's really not that good to do. I just like to drive by them. I sometimes have my car burn if it's already damaged a little more. I'm actually not sure what the best thing to do is here sometimes. I like to do it like that as well. It feels fast. Because you can definitely do it safer, um, but it's not faster, probably. Uh, there's also a package that we also delayed, um, the briefcase from the mission itself. A little bit of annoyance from the cops, but he is also black. So. And the alarm from early. It still even stays after a saving reload. <laughs> Not that so I expected it to go away. So Staunton isn't there in the road anymore, I guess. Wait, what? There used to be, like, you used to like mega jump back to Staunton. Yeah, uh, I think that. this was deemed faster, but I was thinking about it recently as well. Um, because hmm. we don't really use the cop car itself to our advantage, so I'm not ex exactly sure now. It was probably timed at some point. Interesting. Because the cop car is actually not, really not needed for this. So uh, this is, well, this is actually just one instance completed because for some reason the other one gets stuck. I forgot the reason again, even though I read it like two or three days ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure either. Not all missions get stuck like that when you dupe them. I think it this was because does. of the briefcase being there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, what uh, having Shima does when we uh, start this mission is that it 
instantly passes and it's one of the two minute missions that we need. Okay, briefcase. Uh, that we probably want to skip because it's two minutes. Um, we can also use this for another setup. Um, this shotgun rampage is a destroy car rampage, which counts towards just blowing up these RC toy cars. And then again, one is just left. We start one instance of Smackdown. Destroy this cop car to finish the rampage because uh, rampages need to be finished in this category. And then uh, we can actually death warp because sometimes, well, actually, quite often when you're on mission zero uh, while on the mission, so whenever, for example, a rampage runs out or is completed like this one, uh, you can death warp without failing the mission. And it brings us much closer to uh, this mission here, which is gripped. Casually, probably a mission you don't like, especially when you end up getting rain or something stupid. But even if, if you know you can skip rain, you would rather do just this, where you start Smackdown and start Grip, then it's past instantly as well. Also, one more package before we Death Warp back to Storm. Now we finally use Paramedic again, but this time again for an insta-pass, so that's like the third one in a row. Uh, no, it's not an insta-pass, sorry, it's a dupe. Um, but I guess it's still kind of technical. Um, we also get, need to get two stars. Um, I actually have three. If that works, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Should you work. just need to get busted after duping this mission. To fail it and then like walk closer to yeah. where he wants to go. So we hold paramedic, enter this marker and let go of it because uh, before the cutscene starts. There's a three second wait for paramedic to start, so that kinda is the reason why we cannot do it with paramedic unlike other also I need to switch. Oh that scared me. Yeah, so I forgot a the couple thing of with this. Um if you are facing where the bobcat is when you fail this mission when it's dupe the game crashes because i don't really know exactly to be honest but the idea is that like you want to be in like that top down camera so you can't possibly be looking at it when it despawns so the game doesn't crash and then you can continue like normal except now paramedic is dead like taxi is one of my most hated fun. missions now i actually recently failed it Maybe I switched to the bench. And he's commentating. <laughs> Anonymous he's commentator. commentator. <laughs> mm. So there are two blips here. These two guys always spawn there at the start. Um, these blips will stay because they already started staying there when we did Gripped Insta Pass. And then it's random spawns. This is a really nice third spawn though. And they all spawn north. That is rare and probably one of the better Smackdowns already. So for this you need to kill like minimum 8 people. You can kill more than that, but actually, like, in this case, um, less is more, really. Um, the more people you kill, the slower it takes to pass the mission because the more people spawn. You, the mission ends once everyone has despawned, so you kill the minimum, so you stop spawning them after that. And then you do other stuff until the mission passes by itself. And sometimes you just go in a direction where you see two blips and one despawn. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the classic. I was kind of thinking about it because I knew that one of the blips spawned after the two kills. So. Lol, never mind, this is bad. Yep, it, it started well, but it didn't really line up well after the third one. Never forget that one Smackdown of mine. Uh, you have to remind me, I think I know, but 
I, I there don't... was one where like all eight of them were on one street or something like that, or at least like six of them were like in one street near the hospital. That was a good one. So uh, after the eight kills, well, was already mentioned, more are not needed. Um, we also, especially pick up a sniper rifle. The Uzi is also beneficial. Um, you guys know what else is beneficial? That's no. right, $20 from Chalky, nice. saying uh, shout out to Buck Bumble. Isn't Buck Bumble uh, a game, a super old video game for like the NES or something? N64? I don't know. I'm gonna Google that. Aaron's Bell. Reference maybe got? <laughs> no, no. Reference perhaps got. <laughs> Buck Bumble is an action video game for the N64 developed by British video game company Argonaut Software. Wow. Uh, us, us Brits stick together, you see. Thank you very much, Chuck. And that is beneficial towards our goal of reaching a thousand dollars raised for kids around the world. So we are very close to getting halfway there and living on a prayer. Anyone get that reference? Yes. Reference gotten. <laughs> reference gotten. And we'll make it, I swear. Reference gone. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Liberator. So let's follow up with that. Um, first mission for Donald. After you unlock it after evidence dash, um, you have to free some old. What is it? Old Oriental man? Old Oriental gentleman. Or gentleman. Mm. You also, you also have to steal a car cruiser for that, so um, we usually get it randomly, sometimes it can troll you really badly. Um, I leave top-down camera until I arrive in Fort Storm, so uh, that uh, car spawn according to the zone and not um, other cars, because um, only Fort Staunton has these car cruisers. Oops, <laughs> I wanted to buffer exit, but <laughs> accidentally, yeah. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times. There's free garages that he opened um, in that little area. Uh, the old man can spawn in either one of those, and he just happened to spawn in the last one, which is kind of unlucky. And Not also happened deal. to come out yesterday. Mm. Marathon look. Classic man. We have another raid. Huge. Uh, thank Seven you, million viewers. Thank you, Nembi, for the uh, huge raid. Uh, also, like in any percent, we need to keep this Carl Cruiser for the next mission, Wakagashira wipe out for the exact same reason. When you kill Kenji, you have to enter a Carl Cruiser for the confirmation. So, uh, maybe something that need, uh, should be also mentioned, uh, compared to other GTAs, I think, where the developers, um, well, where Rockstar um, gave it a little more thought, apparently, um, you can lock yourself out of 100% in this game, because here you kill Kenji, and, well, if you don't do all Kenji missions before that. Also, already similar to Port... Uh, with Portland, like there are Portland missions you don't need to do when you want to go to Staunton, but they will not be available anymore. Yeah, there's Joey and Luigi's right, who both, which both come. Is it after last request they become unavailable because they all betray you? Yeah. And then you can't do Joey's and Luigi's anymore. Then yeah, there's Kenji's in this, and I don't think there's any bonus Azuka missions, right? Because they just get moved to the... Uh, Tenna uh, can be... Yeah, there are actually a few that you can... Um... That you can miss. Yeah. Not a one-shot. There's quite a few chains in Staunton that you can't miss. I think you can't miss Rays. I think they're always available. Yep. And... The other ones are like Donald's, right? But I guess they're always... Yeah, they're always there as well, because the fi the final one for Ray and Donald are them leaving. Yeah. 
so they're always available until we finish them. It's not really fast to switch cars anyway. It's not a bad car anyway, even if uh, we are kind of forced to keep it, at least for Wakagashi right now. So we just also keep it here for a little bit. We can switch after we start to drop in the ocean, which is now available. Um, so yesterday you saw an awesome spread where you uh, made a replay of the pathing of the packages to pick the packages up in the replay once they all drop down. Um, this, in 100% you do it quite differently, you don't even do it in the usual order, you do it in reverse order. Um, that's because we again use this timer that we have right now where we would need to wait anyway for some packages for once and another bigger reason is um, after you pick up all packages you have five stars which is a nice lineup for the FBI car to be delivered to the Portland crane and um, so we pick uh, the packages up in reverse order so we end up in Portland again and then steal the FBI car. Hence the name Reverse Adido. Or reverse drop in the ocean. Yeah, not sure if I forgot something. Um, other than that, well, you will see more packages. Um, hidden packages, not the packages from the mission itself. Uh, switching to a sports car here is not really required, but I think it's beneficial for this little drive after. Also, <laughs> this is something um, we are actually using teleport to our advantage in this case because if we jumped instead of just you know sprinting down there then we would get a falling animation but that makes us drop in the water and that teleports us back and, uh, the teleport works when you have a boat near a pier and then accidentally drop in the water one could say you were taking a very brief drop in the ocean <laughs> Any, a, a, anyone? <clears throat> tough, tough crowd. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, this is the last mission of Staunton. Staunton is just an hour long, around there. I think, I'm think i not sure if this is even sub 1 because this was pretty clean. I wasn't even really paying attention to the time after the 207 Portland. But I think we will only take like maybe three or four minutes. So this could be a, at least something that is done well. I mean, Portland, yeah, as I said, Portland is difficult. If you, if you don't reset for a better time, you should expect some minutes to be gone. Then some mistakes happen. And suddenly you have the 207 instead of a sub 2. Uh, so yeah, uh, we picked up the packages, waited for all the packages here to drop down. And now in reverse order back to Portland with the five stars. Uh, we also made a bribe replay on Liberator, so maybe maybe to make it a little shorter, I don't know. Uh, we've, we've already done countless Rampage replays and bribe replays. Whenever we make a replay over a bribe, it's a bribe replay. Um, I think this is fine. So now I bribe you away, uh, away almost all stars uh, besides one. Uh, despawn the other guys for safety. Oops, I wanted the shotgun, not and steal one of these cars. Uh, we also get two stars again for the same reason as earlier with the barracks all. Uh, that after the delivery, our choices of uh, cars to get to drive back are not great, so we just want the cop car. I need to blow this one. I will not get another one of them. Do you guys know, fun fact, FBI guys have more health than normal cops? That's how like, I lived that shotgun shot. Yeah, I uh, only recently noticed it myself, because I usually didn't use the shotgun and just used it. Yeah. It's the same with um, army guys. I'm not sure if they have the same health as FBI guys or not, but they have more. So, uh, 
I use the fact that it's, I think, even easier on two stars to see, deal a cop car than a one star. Um, to my advantage and also bribed it away immediately because I don't want it on my drive back. If I do it immediately it should be no problem for the FBI card to be delivered. If you play replays later when a crane uh yeah when a car is already picked up then it will just, you know uh, stop and it will be maybe stuck or despawn. I'm not even exactly sure because I haven't done this mistake in a longer time now. <laughs> you definitely want to avoid it. Here's the confirmation for the FBI car, so everything is fine. Um, yeah, and that's a drop in the ocean, that's all of it. Just the drive back, and once a drop in the ocean finishes, uh, Shoreside unlocks. What's the stunt I'm gonna be? Mm, I don't see my splits, but I see a 306.10 and I had a 207 something for them, so. I think it might have even been sub 59. That's really impressive, especially with like the safe cop car plays. It's really good. Yeah. It was by like 5 seconds or so. Uh, this was a really nice port. My best ever portland is a 5809, I think, but that also didn't have a safe and reload that I usually do in an, in an actual attempt. So, it's probably very close to the best ever I can get. But this one also didn't have a safe and reload, so maybe. Uh, so, yeah, this mission just uh, leads you immediately to Shoreside, to the airport, uh, and also to the Dodo. Uh, it's also used a lot in 100%, sh uh, in, uh, but I don't even want to say if it's less or no way. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna save it. <laughs> uh, I'm also kind of on a timer, I want to say, because I want to um, line this up with escort service. That's fine, I can just skip a package that I would usually take to make it work. I should be fine. I just skip one package that I can take later. Um, we also don't land the Dodo normally now, we will actually just crash land it. Yeah, he's, it's not needed for the next mission, Escort Service, which is going to be used if you have a lot of packages and such. Uh, about the dodo, so the physics are really, I would say, counterintuitive, I guess. You tap nose down repeatedly to gain speed. Whenever you don't tap immediately, you gain height according to your speed, if you have a lot of speed. And then you can tap again, and whenever you want to land, you well, you either crash land like this, or you use nose up. Because that's how you lose a lot of speed, when the nose is up. There's also this mega jump. I like to spam replays here to cancel a possible falling animation. It's usually just four replays, so my replays are pretty fast. I usually like to do it, I don't think comics does that, like yesterday. Uh, other than I that, just mega jump at like an angle to start the falling animation. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, I think, but sometimes I feel like I still get it when I try. Uh, and we use the Yakuza Stinger for once now. Um, I will mention maybe a little later why I like this car, especially for escort service. At first I want to see how escort service itself is going. Uh, it's also actually faster to drive than to fly here, but um, the problem is you can't leave your dodo there because it would despawn. If yeah. uh, That's why we don't do it in any percent or Possibly all missions, I'm not sure what all missions does at that point right now. Uh, all missions takes it because then you start escort service and you uh, actually store it in your garage, I think. Um, yeah, so escort service. Um, you can follow the van and then 
you know, kill the people that spawn along the way and also cars. Um, if you are far enough away, the people will not spawn but only the cars, so you can also choose to ignore the van as much as possible and just pick up packages, a lot of them. Um, the cars can still be a problem, there are, I would say, two package routes uh, where one doesn't get these two packages that I'm going to get now, but on Kingdom Come already. Um, to destroy the two cars that will spawn next to the van. Uh, I like to go a little riskier with this. Um, let's, well, let's hope. I mean, when worse comes to worse, I just do this route as usual and then well, do escort serves normally, even if it costs a lot of time. Uh, this is actually a road you can't really despawn cars on because you can't really switch to top down if something is above. Uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know if there's anything more. Some unique stun jumps as well, but that's once we, we reach Shoreside because Staunton only has four of them and we all did them already. So, so far, the van's taken no damage. By now, like, it's possible that it could have taken a lot of damage, but with it, like, having taken nothing so far, you're probably good for the rest of the mission in this way. I think I could have actually taken the fire station package, which I like. Uh, getting as well, which is one of the reasons why I do this package route. It's not just because of the two packages there, but also because of the fire station package. I almost flipped my cop car, lost a little bit of time, so I played it safe here because you can also easily get it later. Um, because you line up for this bridge this time, there's a package um, above. So you need to wait for it to go up. Um, also, you need a little. Since you are not following the van, you need to take a little bit of time to um, before you go over to Shoreside, for example. So that's also one of the reasons why. Uh, yeah, you have to wait for it to enter the tunnel. Yeah, which it definitely has by now. So you can go to Shoreside. Yeah, the package routes, no matter which one you do, are uh, made so that. Um, you don't go to Shoreside too early or something, you should be fine. Or even too late, probably. I think when you don't... when you are too late, it waits at the end of this tunnel? I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it does. So at some point you also have to go over. But that's like, never really an issue. And there's one unique stunt jump I hopefully can showcase why I like the Yakuza Stinger so much, because usually the Yakuza Stinger is pretty easy to... Um, well, it's pretty easy to make sure that it doesn't land on its roof. Um, by that I don't mean right now, but when I actually need to readjust. Like this. Nice. Other cars are not so good with it. I'm actually a little surprised because after I saw the landing it was still pretty much on its roof. But if it lands on its side, like on two tires or something, it's even easier. That was an early activation. Is that gonna... Oh no. I was uh, wondering if I was gonna like, do that. Yeah, it, it was head bounce, I think. So, you, so yeah, the thing is, sometimes it can activate like this. I, I made the mistake to take this pedestrian bounce. Maybe I shouldn't have. Um, you can always do this unique stunt jump when you uh, start Bouillon Run. Um, it's a little bit of a time loss because here it's routed in, I guess, but yeah. it's fine. It's not worse than missing free events, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, also, we switched to a sports car, so here is another garage in Shoreside, not just in Portland. And this garage requires different cars than we saw before, uh, especially there all are sports cars. Plenty of good places to do a jump later. You can do it while delivering the BF injection, or like you said, balloon run. Those are two good spots. I think like the BF injection spot is. 
probably prefer a board, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't like to do it just in case I accidentally actually manage to flip them. That's true, you don't want to flip that car. But that car is hard to flip, to be fair, but... Yeah. Um, so this is, I think, the last package I pick up now. Did I miss one? Um, Uh, yeah, yeah, I missed one. Uh, usually I see 70. I, I said I skipped the fire station one. I had to remind myself. So this is not the usual number I see here. I just... Uh, let's do it like this. So what I'm also gonna do is I will mark cars or glitch cars, whatever you want to call them. Um, when I play a replay now when the guy is about to get out, uh, he will just be stuck there, and this ca uh, the cars will not despawn the ones that you glitch or mark. Also, we passed the mission, so that's nice. No need to worry about that. The uh, I mainly glitch cars that you know uh, I need to deliver. Uh, that's fine. I can just take this as my second car, I guess, because the game saves up to the last two cars you had. So if I just go down to pick it up. I didn't glitch in Idaho, right? No. I think I need to pay a little more attention to what cars I have right now instead of talking. Uh, once we are done with this mission, we also try to get two stars for a cop car. Uh, and we also use the fact that if we have a lot of cars glitched, then we will have less traffic for some missions later, especially Rick to Blow. Well, the Stallion was actually glitched. Let me try to see something different. Ah, uh, Landstalker, sure. So Landstalker and Kurumas are usually the most common ones on this road, I would say. So you can get, like, majority of the list just on this road, actually. Yeah. Um, sports cars, the stretch limo. Basically, like the higher end cars don't spawn here, so you have to like go to the bridge to get them. Let me just get the two stars and maybe focus more on glitching. Um, that will be all overall safer. Uh, what is this? This is something I already have. I'm surprised I still didn't get a second star. <laughs> My god, you still this car. Or not, wow. There it is. And now I will. So in between, like, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. In between, like, delivering cars, you can do vigilante. Mm -hmm. oh, well, whatever. Uh, you have to be really careful because you saw this uh, pedestrian, for example, had a well, or criminal had a rocket. They can shoot themselves with it and then hit you as well if you are too close. Usually, you try yeah. to do the same as in Portland, where you just run them over. Maybe I should have skipped this one. So if this I isn't too bad. so if I don't like if I don't line up well, I just go a little slower and try to drive by instead. You'll probably get a sports car on the way back, so this works fine. Uh, yeah, I actually mentioned it at one. Uh, maybe I just mentioned it again. Um, so you, you just saw me stealing a car when I had two stars. When you have a weapon out, they move, just move out from the door that is on your side. Um, you can easily abuse this to really... Uh, that might have been good. Whatever. Uh, to steal a cop car really easily. Uh, I didn't line this up well. So yeah. Here is just more that I glitch. Whenever, whenever I see something that is kind of close to the garage. 
got to mark. Also, it's nice that I have a bright group play. This is a nice group right here. Cars. Did you already deliver an Infernus? Do you even have to deliver an Infernus? I forgot. Uh, yeah, Infernus was my car that I switched to after the failed use, Jay. Oh, true. So because we still pick up some packages, uh, you want to usually switch to a sports car, so you just take the first sports car you see. Do you mind if I hop in real quick? Uh, yeah, it's fine. We just do Vigilante on the cars now. There's nothing really happening. So just to remind everyone that uh, if you missed any of the runs from either yesterday or any other days coming in the week, they will all be uploaded to YouTube as well as obviously highlighted on Twitch. Um, on top of the the uncut interviews I'll be uploading uh, after the marathon is over. So, you know, never before seen content. Um, even if you missed the pre-show, there will be full uncut interviews. Um, and also I'll be rerunning each day uh, on here. So using like Twitch's inbuilt rerun system to this rerun each day after the stream is done. So if, for example, if you're from like uh, America um, or, you know, Aussieville and you, uh, you're sleeping or you're at work or something during the marathon, then you'll be able to catch it uh, in a couple of hours once we finish up. So there will be a bunch of different ways for you to catch the runs if you miss them. And then if not, you can always watch them on YouTube. So all of yesterday's runs are uploaded. Unfortunately, if you're from Cuba, North Korea, or somewhere else, I think it was Iran. Uh, Iran and Syria were the other two. You, uh, you can't watch them because for some reason, uh, that's where the... That's where the bots are blocked. But, uh, you should be able to watch them on Twitch even if you are from there. But I do apologize to my my North Korean viewers out there. Are you playing RuneScape? Me? Yeah. Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> you clicking. Oh, can you actually hear that? <laughs> yeah, the entire time. So we are done with 10. Uh, if you came in later, uh, you have to do 20 per island. Um, you can use this pause thread for them to get out. And as you can see, some of them can have rockets, like the one guy that was mentioned in chat also. When I, which is exactly why you just don't drive there. Well, drive close to him, but first rather check the weapon if you can't immediately kill. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to embarrass you. I'm not embarrassed by playing RuneScape, it's a, it's a mega fun game. It is, it, is, it is a good game. I'm playing the uh, the Trailblazer League. On the watch. So thank you, Chivu, for the background content. <laughs> you see, this is why I put the event on. It's so I can play the league and have, you know, uh, consistent content for the week. So. Uh, I guess the only thing I have to mention about this Vigilante, I'm resetting quite often because it's not... Uh, as you can see, the map design is... well, for this island. It's not really great for going to all different kinds of, uh, I don't know, regions of the island. You want to mostly stay in Pike Creek. Also because of the cars that you deliver, and the marking and so on. Sometimes you go to the airport, sometimes to the Grove. This little part here, a little more to the east, is all, also counts to the Cheetah Gardens, which can also happen. Uh, we also need a replay. I'm saving it now. Uh, you see, I usually save it close to when I'm done with 20 criminals, because it's used after Vigilante. Because before that, I have the bribe replay. Probably like two or three still are gone. Like RPG shots do a lot, and yeah, like this um every vigilante kill gives you more health, and that actually is very useful for an upcoming mission. So yeah, that's use this more. that's a good one. I completely forgot to mention that. 
this is a fine spawn, so at some point we also have to go on the dam to get two packages. Uh, you can do it during this part if you have a criminal like this, which happens quite often. Most of the times I do it during Vigilant. But sometimes... Uh, I, also, you have the advantage now that you can just spam more Vigilante for the vehicle models. Do I have a longer cutscene at some point? I, just, I should have opened my backup files or folder maybe before that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to double check. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, yeah, I definitely made one. I actually remade for all of the runs so I can also have uh, current ones. For practice. Yeah, port spawns from here are not good. Um, also, I can again mention that the timer depends on the distance. You will always have a timer which is minimum 2 minutes, but if you have longer than 2 minutes, then you know he's even further away. So you don't just always base it on if you see Pike Creek or something, but sometimes also on the timer. For example, I can check now, okay. Airport. I didn't count again. So if I have 20, I also didn't really mark many cars. Actually, I'm gonna ignore this one. He was further away than I expected. You Don't can't really ask, tell with what's it. your favorite mission. Um, I mean, I could also just mention Kingdom Come, maybe, I don't know. Since it was already <laughs> mentioned in the other context where it's... Yeah, Rock, we already talked about this. Well, it was favorite mission that's not in any percent, I think. Yeah, but all the any percent missions suck, so... That's true. Uzi Rider is way better. <laughs> Losing money. I'm both of them. Uh, they're both great. Don't have a cheat <laughs> right? No, you don't. Let me actually keep this kind of over. If it's that close, you may as well just deliver. Sadly, the criminal went away. To the dam. I don't really want to go to the dam again. Yeah, I don't think so. This is a little slow on the kills now. But you can't really, like, I don't know, manipulate the locations or anything. You just have to restart Vigilante and hope. Okay, now we are done with 20. Uh, and now we go further into Shoreside. Maybe mark another car, maybe not. Nope, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so here we are already are going to be uh, using our bonus health on the cop car. First we just pick up a package, then a rampage with the submission, uh, with Vigilante in this case. Um, and then we start Uzi Money. Which is also a mission which, uh, which is a mission which is also pretty much a rampage, so you can do both of them at the same time. Uh, it, the, this uh, flamethrower rampage where you kill Colombians is also really annoying to do normally, so that's why you do it with this mission together. And the bonus health is required because. Now you are required to kill 20 purple guys and you can have a lot of people shooting at you. Um, the hoods rumpus chasing you. You don't have to worry too much about it with all the bonus health from 20 criminals. No, I'm not gonna kill him. I don't want this car to chase me. So, yeah, if a gang car like sees you like shoot at um, a gang, 
uh, nearby, they will chase you, and it's very annoying. So avoid it at all costs. So once this, uh, once the last three kills now are done, you will not only see a mission pass, but also rampage pass. And that's the flamethrower rampage. Uh, if I recall correctly, this also doesn't count towards your rampage counter now. So in the end, when I remember to check the stats, maybe then you will uh, see that it shows 19 out of 20 rampages. Uh, we start another rampage with the vigilante submission. This time we li uh, we leave vigilante running like some of the other times. Again, get the kill counter to one before we dupe the mission. Also, this is a headshot rampage. Uh, not really a fan of that. It requires you to aim a little better. Considering like the high fire rate on this um, gun, it's pretty safe to like sh start shooting like a bit above their heads and just like slowly move the mouse down so like lands on their head and that like gets you headshots most of the time. So, so this is one kill. Uh, we start toying the nata and then we start it again after I get this last kill. So the Toyminator dupe is not a dupe and fail like all the other dupes. Um, well, not not the usual one, not the getting killed or busted ones. But we actually just enter the vents and so the mission itself requires you to uh, destroy security cars with these um, RC toy cars, but can just explode them like that and the mission is passed. And we start our Uzi rampage now. It's a uh, it's another vehicle rampage so we can just uh, explode these ones now for until one again. So you will you see it over and over again. Uh, I wanted to mention it earlier but I think I uh, uh, something else happened in the run that was more important. Uh, whenever I go to some random, seemingly random spot, it's usually a rampage replay. I think I mentioned it for bright replay. So I try my best to always mention what kind of rampage replay I'm doing. But, uh, so yeah. Just re enter because I still need this cop car. But now I make a shotgun rampage replay right here. And this car has a 1% chance to be locked. Shame it didn't happen. <laughs> it actually is 1%. You can check it. The files. Oh, I, don't know. Is that in again? I think um, I. Why not? It has to be a troll, right? Just a mess. Just why not? Uh, now I start to break to blow and finish the rampage, so I'm on mission zero again, and I can uh, start another mission, which is Rumpo Rampage. We just were there, but for a different purpose. Um, now we are actually going to insta pass, because before we weren't really passing it; we were just uh, bringing down the rampage counter. Can hear the music, maybe for mission pass. But this passed the mission actually. And we immediately also start our shotgun rampage. Uh, again with Vigilante on until 1 and then starting Rick to blow again. Uh, this is a really technical segment where pretty much every time we do something we have something with a rampage now or Duke or some insta pass just now. Yeah, this so is if I missed segment. something, you know. Can still I will talk try to. Them. I will try to uh, help. So this was until one. Mm. 
And now we do our last kill. Oops. Oops. It interrupted. Oh god. Okay, so um, we are on Rick to blow still. Um, this will be done a little differently than normal. First of all, I need to save the game for the in-game clock to advance. Because we are going to pick up the BF injection, which only spawns between 6 p.m. and, uh, well, midnight, I guess. Or 23.59, I think, is the more correct time. Yeah. Uh, you can do this drop here, usually it doesn't damage you if you do it correctly, sometimes you get trolled by pedestrian bounces or so on. Um, now it's just the normal mission, this is what you always do. You need to be very careful, this is very fragile. Uh, this is a very fragile car because it has a bomb, and the detonation bar will fill very very quickly, even by the slightest touch of um, this is one of the advantages from the marked cars here right now that we don't have much traffic. It still could be lower, it could be higher. And the BF injection spawn is also important where we pick up Misty on Drive Misty for me. Also next to the blue phone. But first, we need to uh, diffuse, I think is the word, the bomb by going into this garage. Uh, also, this uh, mission makes the Mafia gang not aggressive towards you, or I think any gang, even. Yeah, no gangs are aggressive. But most importantly, Mafia, because you drive up here and if you have played this casually, especially after completing Portland, you know that they have shotguns and can two-shot you in a car. Uh, so, usually, the, and this is why we have it on Mission Zero right now, um, usually you would need to drive back this inferno. But what we can do instead is, well, uh, we can just restart Rick to blow after diffusing the bomb again and then another Infernus will spawn on the spot we are supposed to bring this Infernus back. And it'll pass the mission, but this will still take a few minutes because now we are uh, finishing our garage first. I need to quickly think what cars I have in my hand. Taxi should be required. I think the Kuruma is also required still. Uh, I haven't seen a Manana. I think I glitched a perennial. I don't have a Stinger. So I think four cars are left if I count all the marked ones as well as already having them. So what did I say? Taxi, Manana. Kuruma and Stinger. Stinger has a kind of close fixed spawn that I can use. It's the best sports car to uh, well have left compared to others that are not so close. Oh yeah, the jump. I would just do the jump on Booyah. Yeah, I was gonna like say, but like, I guess like you decided to just do it on Boolean Run anyway. Because you didn't want to flip this uh, somehow. This, this is required. This is one of the cars I, men I just mentioned. The cheat has glitched, I can just go there again. I think, yeah, I, I glitched a cheetah if I recall correctly. If Wait, not, where did you glitch the cheetah? I don't think you did. You glitched a banshee. Uh, maybe I can ignore it. Ah, shit. Well... What did mm. I glitch here? I glitched a sentinel or something else. Yeah. A banshee, from what I remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe I forgot the cheetah. You have it. Ah, uh, yeah, the cheetah actually drove up there. Yeah, yeah, now oh, I remember. Oh, yeah, right. I remember that as well, yeah. 
So you can see it, it can be sometimes a little difficult to remember all of this. I have the cars grouped up in six groups, which makes it easier for me a little bit. But it's not like the groups are any kind of related that much. Uh, obviously I have a taxi and cabby group. I have Karuma and Landstalker because they are usually the most common ones in a group. Then I have Perennial and Manana as a group, as like slower ones. Uh, all the sports cars in a group, the Sentinel and the Stretch in a group, and uh, what was the last I was missing? Whatever is missing. Esperanto, Idaho Stallion. This is how I remember them, it's not... But... Interesting. I never like considered like grouping up like that, I just like... I don't know, I try to remember. I don't know, it seemed to, it seems to help me and it just naturally... I, I didn't even choose the groups to be like this, of course, for example, uh, grouping the taxis, but... It's just how my head works, I guess, for this. Mm. So I think I don't have one. I could also always check the list, but technically checking the list is slow, so... Unless, uh, it doesn't really matter much which one I pick up first. I think uh, I'm not sure if this was a stinger. Ah, uh, fuck! I thought I thought it would be stopped. <laughs> Damn. Eh, uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> Maybe it has a fixed know. spawn, whatever. I, it, it, when worse comes to worse. You know what? I would just pick this one up and destroy the glitched one if needed. I don't think you ever really need to destroy them, as far as I can yeah, tell. Yeah, I think um, you'll be fine. Like, you don't really need to use the RNG very many cars from now on. Maybe I still see a sting now. It's a cheetah. Two cheetahs even. Also skipping rain again. Is it now only the stinger? I think. Looks like it. So yeah, we just drive to it, to the fixed spawn. It's probably better than hoping I get it randomly. Because that is luck based. <laughs> this spawn is fixed. Oh, there's another one. Yes. Was not facing the right direction, so I just took this one. Uh, this split overall seems good. It's still sub 38 right now, so. But you also have to like do an extra stun jump. But even then, like, it's fine. Yep. So these are all cars now, which means you can actually pick one here. Can also do a little trick where you end up behind this door, so you don't need <laughs> for the door to um, open. Now one of the more hated unique stun jumps. Probably the worst in the well, actually, I don't know. I don't think it beats the Yeah, bridge. it's important you have the angle, but it's not that easy to line it up really. Also, something like this can happen. It's fine, I just pick another Banshee. And you have to land in it because you want this package as well. So you just pick up another one. It's, it's not a big deal. Better than failing it or suddenly taking the ramp and 
Maybe that was I think it definitely would have been the worst if they expected you to hit the second ramp as well. <laughs> yeah, it would have been bad. Like, that would be pretty much impossible. Yeah, I just leave this perennial as it is. It shouldn't matter. Uh, and now we just drive back to start Rick to Blow again, as mentioned. Uh, before, to spawn the Infernals from the second instance on the spot where we were supposed to leave the first infirmary to finish the mission but this also finishes the mission okay this is a sub 40 it's pretty good in a marathon let's see okay uh, I lined up wrong because I'm used to not doing this stunt jump now but we will take a little detour Finally complete the jump. Okay, I should keep this key. Uh, again? What? Oh my god. Ah, it, it reactivated. It re-triggered, yeah. <laughs> or re-triggered. Yeah, trigger is a better word. Um, re-triggered, so... So like the way um stunt jump triggers work in this is like you just have to be like in the air like in a certain like little zone where the USJ can start. And in that case, like he triggered it early by like jumping off like a little like bump on the rock and it hit the rock so it cancelled the USJ and then insta retriggered because he was still in like the little zone that starts it. So, so it's fine. No, what would usually happen now, uh, instead of doing this stunt jump, is we would arrive here and go up here again. Of course, we need to do it here as well because there's another stunt jump here. It's on the right. Uh, I try to jump more to the right because I feel like it's easier to keep your bench here that one. Well, not. Oh well, it worked. That's fine. So let me not get stuck here. Sure, so to say. <laughs> yep. It can actually happen. It's kind of important to keep this car because otherwise you would really you would need to go back to this road and probably not get a good car for this. Because picking these up here right now um, will make your car heavier and slow you down. You can probably already see it. I need to count. I think this is 16, 19. You need to collect 30. I think if I just go here, if they left ones, like maybe a little more than 30 to the safe. Yeah, you got like maybe 35 from that. That's fine. Uh, I'm missing the fire station package. It's I deliberately skipped it so I know what I missed, which is important. Like, you really don't want to have a missed package when you don't know it. <laughs> That's probably something to mention as well for Hundo Runs. Best mission in game. That's act. Yeah, I don't dislike it. Uh, you can also use the pause here to already trigger the mission end. Instead of waiting for a full stop, which takes a little longer with a heavy car like this. Other than that, we have two more packages here. Ah. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even know you could do that. This jump control? Oh my god, I'm jumping too late. <laughs> Missing the thieves package. No. <laughs> Wasn't no. that because of the replay? Because you replayed at that point or something? Yeah, it was really tragic. So, uh, when you play a replay over a package, you actually don't pick it up even if it shows the message, I think. Uh, so... Uh, this is another firefighter per island thing you need to complete. 20 of them. Again, it's just with replays very quick.
and the rocket rampage is a vehicle rampage so you can just uh, cancel firefighter to destroy a car. Uh, replace extinguish fires, that's why it works. Um, it was explained better earlier in Portland. I had to keep count, <laughs> so my explanation was a little short. And now we finally do some actual dodo flying, not just crash landing here. We will do bait now. And that's. I mean, it's done like in any percent. You fly over the three cars you are supposed to bait into a death trap set up by the Yakuza. I'm assuming, um, like the way like the AI works on this mission was already explained, but I guess like we can explain it like people didn't watch. The yeah, a little summer. bit. I also mentioned that you could probably talk five minutes about all the things that are wrong with it. <laughs> uh. I mean, if you want to, I, I pay attention to the flight rather because, you know. Alright, so the, the basic idea of this is like, instead of like driving a car around, you fly the plane around and bait all the guys into the death trap. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that, like, for example, um, the last touched terrain, in this case it's road, um, depend like changes how the um, AI like follows you. If the last touched AI uh, train was road, then they'll like instead of following you, they'll go to like that last point where you touched, which is on the other island, like where he just like took off. Um, that's fine for now. Um, he's gonna land at the dam here, which will change where they uh, drive to to be the dam instead, which happens right now. So now they're having changes. And they would like just like try to go towards the dam and stuff. And they will like probably the one that's like the one that spawns like at the dam will probably get stuck there for a little bit. Um, it's not really a big deal because you want him to come last anyway. So these next two will start heading towards there. And by the time you land here at the death trap, they will be pretty close by, and then they'll start coming towards the death trap. It's much higher than usual, so I almost landed too early. <laughs> Yeah, so you also are required to stay in your vehicle, otherwise the Kai AI is completely gone. <laughs> it's doing random things until you probably enter back, uh, but even then it takes a while for them to readjust properly. Oh, well, that's a nice Oh, one. wow, really? Uh, what the fuck? That's really unlucky. That's one of the many, many, many things that can go wrong with this mission. Uh, mission. I will just do the rampage as required. Anyway, uh, I would have done this rampage after bait anyway, but now I can just do it now, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I have to fly back here again anyway. Come on, a little more spots. This mission can be, or this rampage can be very annoying if they spot you and they just like run under the corner here. Also, not even. Also, the head doesn't always explode. Yeah, I forget exactly why. I think it's like depends on where exactly you shoot them from and the angle. They okay, can I shot. please? Uh... <laughs> okay, that was my fault <laughs> for being too quick with it. Uh, you can exit the vehicle as I did as soon as all three cars are activated. You can see their, their activation on the minimap. Uh, it turns from red to green, I think. And yeah, um, that's what I did. And that's when you can also finally assist the Yakuza to kill them. But if some for some reason the Yakuza are bad at it, they will die. And I probably also help kill them like that. Sadly. So now we just do it again. Interesting fail. Maybe I can still get a sub 130 out of this? Probably not. Shore side, I mean. Sub 130 shore side. This was also not really a great landing. Here. 
Yeah, pretend fate never happened. Well, there are more missions, sadly. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I could. Well, we do it again, hopefully. So the damn touch is not the easiest thing to do. That's why I wanted to focus on it. <laughs> this is also not a great cop car, so I'm just gonna take it a little safe. I guess I can explain, like, the old strat um, was to touch the grass, because that changes the AI to a way where they follow you in the air instead of like go to like the last um, piece of ground that you touch. I'm not sure why that happens. Like I'm not sure why they don't just follow you in the air no matter what, but that's just how it is. And that was used to like get on um, a fast pattern for this mission. I'm flying a little slow because of the different route. 38, I think earlier we saw 35 here, or even 4. Uh, at least I got the damn touch again. The re Usually the flight is easy, at least I think so. Well, it's easy once you have enough experience and practice. Yeah, this is a hard flight to figure out for new players. Yep. Um, I wanted to mention something else, but now I forgot it during the flight. Oh yeah, um, so I mentioned about the camera switches despawning traffic. They don't despawn cop cars, and that's why I had to take this slightly different takeoff. Now we pass. Yeah. A lot of them died again. You only had one left. Yeah. Uh, fog should not really be that much of a problem. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever done this flight with fog. Ah, uh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> this might be actually a problem. I might just fly a little higher to see. Okay, a little more to the left. Yeah, this is fine. So we Are fly to Donald Dodo's now. Perhaps for E2G. There will not be. Well, there will be a Dodo in E2G, but you won't be destroying stalls of them. Like in like. It's kind of important to keep this Dodo because this mission leads you back to Shoreside again, so it's much faster to go. Uh, also, it's decoy. Decoy is. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. to say. It's it's the, it's probably the hardest mission. Sometimes it's like, like much. I mean, many years ago, I think people mostly did decoy on the airport. That's just a joke. But if you do additional stuff on decoy, then it gets really hard because it gives you a fake six stars. It's I think it's actually. Not sure if it's exactly four stars or if it's some. I think it's. Four stars. I think it's four stars. Yeah. So you won't see tanks or anything. Uh, actually, you will see. You might see barracks or uh, roadblocks. So. Oh yeah, that's true. So it's technically not just four stars. It's a little more. You could say. But you will see enforcers which spawn in four stars. Of course, not on Kotkas as well. So basically you just have to keep this van alive for 3 minutes. You are allowed to exit it, but only for 15 seconds. It gives you a message. Uh, one of the additional things we do... This cop car doesn't really help me now, because I need to fit through this. Also, it already did some kind of damage. It actually followed me in here, I'm not sure if I've ever seen this. <laughs> oh my god, this is I, terrible. Yeah, this is interesting. I go here for a little bit, I guess also because <laughs> to manipulate this cop car, but more importantly, what's really harmful for this van is if the heli gets uh, a chance to shoot you. 
Um, this is one of the missions, I guess. It's kind of beneficial to have see this damage bar. Um, earlier, I did a save and reload for this as well, I guess you could say. It also helped me earlier with escort service with um, detonation bar on rig to blow. Also, there are two routes. There's a safer one through the tunnel, so you are safe from helis and so on. Which one is, well, not so safe also because it can easily go up while we go here. And then it's really hard. Fortunately, that didn't happen. We still do a little more on this mission. I go to the M16 rampage. Ah, oh, shit, rain. I wasn't thinking about that, but yeah, that was fought not too long ago. Rain doesn't, like, affect this car in particular too much. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I should actually do it now. Uh, I, yeah, no, don't flip back. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's just Let's just do it. So here's a M16 rampage. Well, at least you can see now why this mission is kind of scary. <laughs> you can also choose a different route to do. I like to do this because if, if done optimally, you can arrive pretty much on time for the fire truck. So this is actually also one of my better attempts with this. Now we're gonna get that package. Yep. Uh, I should probably first get it, then start the rampage, then do the replay. So now we also start this rampage. I never know exactly where it is, so I usually do these long replays. And we also need a grenade rampage. Or later. Um, well, I guess I will do quadruple vigilante and we will see. I have backup saves. So, should be fine. so now we complete Firefighter in Staunton. And we also do this rampage until 1 again. Before we start this person to go. Recently I accidentally went to 0 before starting this. That was terrible. So now, um, first we enter this Yakuza Stinger, and then we re-enter the fire truck first. The fire truck was removed from our cars, and we want it to be the newer one. So, uh, because first we take this Yakuza Stinger, this will, uh, will be our first car, and the fire truck will be our second car. Vehicle, whatever. And we also need our cop car. Oops. And we also complete this rampage. Ah, maybe I just let it be like this. Parked it a little too close. And now... Yeah, so the reason why we are on Espresso to go is just another insta pass as always. Uh, a lot of it is just, I don't know, repeating itself. It's pretty much the same principle for different things, so... Starting gone fishing while on espresso to go insta pass is one instance, but we still have one running which we will use. So now probably we need to pray for the game to not crash. <laughs> uh, what we are going to do as well, so first this package is just there. Um, for the quadruple setup, I will hold vigilante, uh, I will enter the fire truck, so I also hold firefighter and I will start espresso to go. Together with the gone fishing uh, thing, we have four things at once. And before I let go of the button, I will also uh, enter the cop car again. So uh, I start. I actually start the giant and not just immediately cancel it. Ah, uh, where am I? Oops, I was far more to the left than usual. So uh, now I 
I, I can't. I also really can't cancel the vigilante if I want the benefit of multiple kills. You know, a one kill counting multiple times. So I just have to take the locations I I get here. This is four kills. Um, this is five kills. So another thing to mention, which I just wanted to mention, uh, you have to not be in your cop car for the kills to kill four times in this case, or in other dupe vigilante scenarios, twice or three times. Um, so whenever someone kills himself when I'm not even close to them and I'm just driving in my cop car, I know to just count it as one. Didn't it say bad for point? Um, yeah, this is bad for point. Yeah, but there's no blip at all. Um. This is unusual, I'm not sure. Well, like my Hundo PB, I was trolled by Vigilante. Well, let's just destroy this. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, I just had to see if... Apparently, sometimes it's still the... So, another thing, usually it's the cars that remain still that you have to kill, but... If you get trolled like this, apparently not. So we have 10 kills exactly, because we had 2 kills while I was in the car and 2... Okay, this is 11 now. Yeah, usually criminals that you need to kill don't move. Maybe I said it a little weird, I don't know. If so, then this is the correct. 15. Uh, well, if this counts 4, I can decide to maybe get a better last one. <laughs> Wait, let's destroy the car. <laughs> I thought the pedestrian would stand up again. No! Uh, uh, Obviously it had to crash on the last one. That's what happens. This is great. Why is... Oh, I have caps, that's why. <laughs> um, well, I tried. I guess now I have to do it normally because I also have no loaded vehicles. So, I will... One second. I have backups for this. Um, I also need Remember the... Remember when you boot up the game, you'll need to restart your Discord stream as well? Oh, okay. Um, fuck, this is not in um, One second, I need to do something else. Well, okay, I hope that this works now. Let's see. This is decoy. I, uh, I paused the timer, but I did it late. So I'll, I'll give you like a 30 second head start before I restart. Yeah, um, so I already... Uh, wait a second. Uh, this save file is before Firefighter. I think I prepared it like this. Or I would just do it again because of the rampages that I also need. Ah, uh, that's why. So yeah, I have to do one more thing. I even have the right replay prepared. <laughs> That's why I had the bench in the garage. Uh, I don't need to count because this is the last island, so um, I didn't start the rampage. 
This kind of... <laughs> Yeah, uh, so for anyone mentioning it, um, this is a marathon, uh, marathon run, it's not an actual attempt. It never had the chance to PB after this Portland anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, we kinda also wasted like 4 minutes on a Vigilante that crashed in the end anyway. <laughs> so we get closer to the 5 minutes now. Uh, five hours, five minutes, five hours. I don't. Th I still think we should be kind of fine. Uh, now the fire truck doesn't really matter. So this is the same as before. Fishing Insta Pass, so we get on mission zero. Let's press it to the On mission zero, meaning that we can take more missions now. The game allows us to take it again. Oh. I start Vigilante to cancel the remaining instance. I do it outside of the vehicle just in case. And now we just do normal Vigilante, which takes a little longer. But we can choose to cancel and pick better spawns if we have to, or yeah, if we want to. Rather. I don't know any donations or something now. Now it's pretty much the same, just a little more boring, just single kill. We have twenty dollars. From uh, Charisse saying, awesome job so far, I have totally been watching. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, smiley face. Also now we can choose to do Lost Disappearance very quickly, whenever we're close. Uh, Freeman, I haven't done single Vigilante in a long time, I think I'm getting unlucky. Five, well... Next time I see three minutes, I will take it. I guess. Uh, usually, we choose to stay south. I would say, like Torrington, Bedford Point. Um, what else is there? Maybe Belleville Park. That one is not really south, but it sometimes lines up well. Newport. Not only towards the end, because the next mission move is E2G, is pressed to go. Of course, the very last kill had to crash on it. So once I start as pressed to go, I think my last split is half an hour. Um, vigilante will not take 17 minutes, even single vigilante. So we should still be far under the estimate. Also, uh, yeah, there can also be rocket criminals as well. This one had one, but. Usually it's safe if you can immediately kill. I'm not sure, maybe... Um, maybe if there's a question or so from a part earlier you can ask. I'm not sure what we can talk about. Yeah. Because um, it's just, again, 20 criminals per island. This is the last island for. Ask us anything you want in chat. Uh, we will answer your questions during this vigilante.
So yeah, the pause makes them stop, and uh, a stop makes them get out. That's probably the third time mentioned now. <laughs> Every island is mentioned once, maybe for people that started watching later. How much planning goes into 100%? Um, for routing, uh, a route can take like sometimes weeks to put together. And like there's there's like testing like even after a route is finalized like um, stuff like continues to get tested and like adjustments are made. It's basically like non-stop. This is a lot of um, criminals with rockets, by the way. Yeah, another one. Um, yeah, other than that, once a route is up though, and maybe you are just starting out, it's, it's just learning and not really discovering anything until you may have more of an idea what to do in this game right now. Uh, GTA 3 routes don't really change that much. It's pretty, It's a pretty slow game when it comes to this. So. I was inspired to pick up GTA 3 on Steam 10 minutes ago. Do you recommend any quality of life mods? Um, I don't really know much about quality of life mods. I know about yeah, like a lot I've of people... Quality of life mod in my life. Like to use like windower mods like DXWND. So you can play the game in like a little window instead of like in full screen if you prefer that. Um, that's all I really know. I mean, you can give like silent patch and stuff a try. Like a lot of people say like, oh, the game's unplayable without it, right? But it's nonsense. And I mean, uh, the window runs Vice City, so he knows like how to get a game working by itself. Um, so if you're looking to just get the game running, then you might need like a cursor lock. I use DXWND for that, because the game otherwise gets caught outside the window. And then the only other thing that you'll need to change on the Steam version is the black cars fix. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to just get the particle.txt file, or txd file, from uh, speedrun.com, and then just place it in your models folder in the game. I forgot about that it. actually, black yeah. cars. Those are the only two like modifications you'd need to make to get get the game working. Everything else is preference, like you know, widescreen patch and all that kind of shit. But I've never used it, so can't. Yeah. Also, when you, I guess, when you ask speedrunners in general in other games, etc., they usually use you know the game uh, unmodded because, well, to compare it better, etc. So <laughs> asking them about mods, I don't. Know. It depends, I guess. Like I, I, I've never used any, so I have no idea. For example, I just say it's silent patch is a good way yeah, to do it. Probably. Has pretty much all the fixes you'd ever want. Go with that, and if you don't like it, then just go for the standard vanilla. Like GTA 3, Vice City, and SA all work decently on their own, a couple of glitches here and there, but they're definitely playable. Anyone who says that the game is unplayable unless it's at 60 FPS and all that kind of crap is just talking out their ass. What's your favorite GTA 3 song? Change by Connor and Jay. <laughs> well, mine is probably rising to the top. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is a tune. So. That is a tune. Yeah, it's hundred percent rising to the top. Anthony, do you remember when we uh, when we were communicating in, in someone's <laughs> chat with like emojis uh, trying was... to quote the game FM lyrics? That was Chivas' chat, actually. Was it Chivas' chat? <laughs> yeah, Wait, like two years ago. Uh, I have to admit, I didn't listen that much to that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so I don't. You were just quoting like line by line of the lyrics, but you're only allowed to use like emojis to comment hey, what you were trying to say and it was like the hardest thing ever i am not sure was it really in my chat yeah it was like years ago oh okay so yeah maybe, so, okay. maybe even like three years ago at this point i should be close to finished i'm not sure so i'm tempted to go north but again i didn't count exactly so now if i kill this guy and have to go all the way north then so be it. Yeah, I definitely realized that I don't keep up with the weather cycle at all while commentating and also the counts here. Yeah. 
vigilantes. Belleville Park is a good transition uh, location, so maybe I should take it. Even if it says 3, three minutes 40 seconds or whatever. I think my favorite song has to be. Push it to the limit, maybe? That's a really good song. Either that or. Is gold? In, is it in GTA 3? Always Which believe in that? your soul. You have the power to know your range is No, mm, no. That's not on this. Is that not in this game? No. That's uh, in Vice City. So, um. We finished. Is it in Vice City, City, really? Yeah. I should know that. You should. I haven't listened to the radio in years, so sometimes I get them mixed up. Never mind. It. Yeah, definitely push it to the limit. Uh, what was. Um, did they ask about favorite Vice City song or what? Uh, no, push it to no. the limit 3. I, I thought. Never mind. No, my mind is. Vi Vice City favorite song is impossible to answer because there's hundreds. Yeah, I couldn't answer it either, I think. Not sure. Which one I would choose? Uh, so about this, we started another rampage. This time, the grenade rampage at, at its alternative location with uh, vigilante, so we can safely start as press to go with it. Running again, we use we will use uh, on mission zero to our advantage, not to dupe or anything, but. Uh, so that we can death warp during that mission without a mission fail. Um, this has... So at first this is just normal business. You just kill, uh, you just destroy the stalls. You are locked on the grenades, I guess. So um, That's one thing until the rampage uh, is over. But I also don't really have rockets, I think. And it also doesn't really matter in Hando. Dauntless is normal, and then uh, we use the bonus health, so um, that was also mentioned earlier, but with Vigilante, every criminal that you kill gives bonus health for your cop car, and one of the rampages we can do, and which is another reason why we have on mission zero after this rampage runs out, is to do the run over rampage, run over rampage while as, pre uh, as pressed to go is running with the uh, cop car with bonus health. This is a little unlucky. I should still be fine on the timer. The timer is actually... When we end the mission, the timer should be at one minute something. Uh, well, usually when you don't miss this bridge. It'll probably be closer now, as long as I don't make any mistakes. So, instead of destroying this stall right away, we just drive to this run over rampage. Usually if you, don't, if you have a car that has no bonus health, it's unlikely the car will survive running over 20 Colombians. So that's why it's routed like this. Here's also a package. There's also really like no other place you can do this. Like this is like a pretty convenient spot. Yeah, so Casta had the idea to maybe move it to Rick to low and the gangs are all, you know, not uh, hostile. Alright. Oh, but that actually wouldn't be too bad. But But we haven't routed this yet, so. I feel like this would still be faster because you just like are closer to this area. Yeah. I think. Hiding, kind of. Though. I don't know. Oh. Well, that works. Always hostile. And uh, I mean, not always. Sometimes missions just uh, turn it off, like Rick to blow. Yeah. 
That might actually, maybe it's the only mission, I'm not sure, about Colombians. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, the only one. So this is another advantage of on mission zero, we can death walk. And we actually beat someone here to get the Uzi. Um, so recently in one of my attempts I died using mega jumps to this package. I'll just dry. And also, that Colombian at the tall, uh, he also like kind of has like an aimbot. He can like kill you sometimes if you don't just like kill him right there. Uh, so now that all Chawset stalls are destroyed, we can go to the dodo here. And the Dodo is actually a vehicle that needs to be delivered to the Portland garage. <laughs> so that's going to be done when we also have to go to Portland to destroy two stalls to finish this mission. Wait, so I just had a thought. So they never intended you to fly the Dodo, but they wanted, wanted you to take it to Portland to the garage. So did they actually expect you to drive it on the yeah. roads? All they the did, way yeah. there? I guess so, because, yeah. That is horrific. <laughs> That's what I did when I played this game casually for the first time, though. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, we instead fly in between these buildings and then, well, then we can kind of fly above them. As long as we hit nothing, and, well, the landing is the more important part. And I'm trying to line it up now. Okay, um... That was in between the door and the wall, that was probably not the best idea. Also, for some reason, Mega Jump... I think... I'm not sure if this is this Mega Jump or the next Mega Jump, but one of the Mega Jumps can make this next stall impossible to destroy, so... I don't know why this bug exists, and I don't think I have seen anyone getting it recently or risking it. I'm not sure. I mean, Hundo is not really a category that is run off. <laughs> uh, so I just take it safe and run to this clue. Now. now to the last door. Ooh, that was not a good idea. Because I think I'm right above the grenade rampage. I like to switch to the taxi here, it's, it's a little easier to control and you have to get out of St. Mark's when you're not on a mission after Portland is done, which means shotguns can just kill you now. But there's one more package here. Best way to like avoid uh, Mark is by just um, like spamming camera. There was one, but good thing I just decided to drive over him, so... There was now a different safe. animation than the shooting animation. <laughs> now we just jump back. This mega jump... Same mega jump as you've seen much earlier. Ooh. Oh, that was really late. This is... yeah, so, um... Well, actually, another part where we use the Yakuza Sting. Just because, I guess, it's convenient and it's one of the sports cars. So before we start the next mission, we load our grenade rampage. Actually, I need to re-enter to make sure this doesn't despawn. Usually it's best to kill them here. They usually spawn. Also, yes, do this. Um, there's nothing about this rampage really, it's just 
Bad, bad, bad. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Why am I doing such mistakes? Um. I don't know anymore. That was not a mistake I should have made. <clears throat> Take him out. Podnet's getting really excited. Looking at these mistakes. He could come out on top. Still so far. Still so far. Hopefully. Yeah, it is. I just got here again. It's just the usual spot. I guess I can kill these two. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of people in one spot. Just a little more to the right. Again. Oh. Again I'm making this mistake. All completed. Yay. Back to... Back to the normal. Plastoblast. Um. Shoutouts to Zazaza for the Isle World Record. Yay. Did he get his payment from Joe? No idea. I'm sure he'll answer. Speaking of getting payment, we have $5 from Taylor Swift Remix that says Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Taylor Swift. Oh, I don't have a Uzi anymore, I forgot about it. Uh, can I... Well, this could also work. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the reason for the Bright Replay. Nice. You have to... You want a little more speed to kill them. Um, doesn't take much damage from explosions. It's not like I have anything anyway to do now. Yeah, who cares about the Uzi? Now Sam. Which is the second to last any percent mission. Yeah. 63 HP, I think I should be fine, I don't know. Actually, this might cause problems on exchange again. Uh, I'm saying again because my PB was very clutch in exchange. That's not even right, Kamex, it's the guy from Gone Fishing. So I hear the bridge, so what I can do is get this package during Sam. Should still work time wise. Yeah, stick to any percent Kamek. <laughs> you noob. Troll face. <laughs> so uh, Sam is another mission on a timer. Um, in any percent, we don't wait until the timer runs out to shoot the the plane at the airport. Um, we go to the dam, but and also in all missions. But here, um, we have to go to the airport anyway for several things. So. Might as well combine it. Yeah.
We also have uh, five dollars from Fox again, saying fixed it. He's talking about the uh, the multiple of five, so that puts us uh, only ten dollars away from the big fat five hundred, which is halfway towards our goal. Wow. And if and we only make it by the end of this run, I will hold my end of the bargain and I'll sing you all a Christmas carol when we, when we finish this run. Have we decided which one yet? No, I should look that up. I don't remember any of them, to be honest with you. Jingle bells. That's, that's not me though. Yeah, but it's a Christmas List of carol. Christmas carols. Oh, they're all the different language ones. I'll sing one in Czech. Do you want so, in Swedish? That'd be perfect. You think I know any Swedish Christmas carols? Sure. I don't, I don't just know the English it. ones. Just, There's just, so many just, of them. Just... <laughs> There's millions. Well, yeah, man. Coventry Carol. Yeah, I don't think anyone from Coventry is having a Merry Christmas. <laughs> the first Noel. The Friendly Beast. I've never heard of any of these. I think I'm doing something a little risky, hopefully. <laughs> it's not really risky, but it doesn't really allow for mistakes, I guess, for 20 seconds. Right. If you drive close enough for him to just explode himself with Hold the rocket, it. You can still make it in time to pick up the rocket if you make no mistakes. I haven't seen this strat before, surprisingly. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas is it even on the list on Wikipedia. This has to but be it is it, it, it is a Christmas carol, so... That's like one of the most common ones, right? Like, 120 yeah. top Christmas songs in Carol. Best ever Christmas long playlist. Five <laughs> hours long. They forgot me. Wait, you guys just got the $500? Oh, big. Huge. Got ten dollars from Potato with the message, Potato. Thanks, Potato. Well, now you have to pick a Carol, right now. Don't know, man. Nice oh, dodo. I can do Twelve days of away. Christmas. I remember that one. Oh my God, that one's like so long. Ten gamers gaming. I'm pretty sure that's can you the... can you can you save it for the exchange credits? They're actually pretty close. I'll do it in the intermission. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So then the intermission will have the snow and everything, and it'll be as cute. <laughs> so yeah, we did one use J with the dodo. That's probably the most exciting thing about this mission. It's kind of fun. Uh, that unique stunt jump is actually... I think only really possible with a cheetah and infernus when it comes to cars. Gale would like and to it was also them. the last US, USJ. And... What else is there to say? Gale's on that with a banshee. Wait, does the save file have lost disappearance? Then? No. Um, pretend it does. Uh, never mind, I actually did lost this appearance during the single vigilante, never mind. It always does. So here we make a slight detail, we still have one more rain machine. This is a fun machine, marked man. What was that noise? I was <laughs> looking at you. So oh god, is it my call. mic? I, I, saw, no, I saw mummy kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh dear. I'll, I'll do we wish you now. Wait, is my mic fine right now? Yeah, your mic's fine. Yeah, your mic is fine. I was just laughing at these, uh, oh. these, these Christmas carols. Normally on this mission, the bridge is like 
almost impossible to uh, cross. There's like tons of dudes of M16s. So instead we just fly over. Yep, there were all the strats with the tank, for example, that can take all these shots or with some bulletproof cars that also exist. Well, using a tank was the old strat and then like afterwards you would deliver the tank. But this is faster. And also this looks scary, is he gonna get stuck? <laughs> um Oh uh, yeah, great. Nice. Man, I'm doing a great job so far. <laughs> yeah, so like every other cutscene, if an AI gets stuck, it times out and warps them. This one doesn't have anything like that for some reason. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. This can softbook. I don't think I have a safe rifle. <laughs> that was not one of the things I was thinking about. Oh, oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? Well, time to. All my saves are from like a really old route, so. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm having the train wreck of this <laughs> whole week. No, I can't play replays. I also didn't expect this Dodo to spin like that when I landed like this. What? It's usually not that bad. I even triggered the marker as early as possible, I think, on the row. Now he's tired. Uh, I'm already preparing the safe hour while we still wait, I guess. Although I have no idea how good the safe hour will be. I was gonna say, is there anything that like you have left that you can't repeat? Like, could you not just load like saves and just do what you had left in this run, but in the other save? I have um, a save for exchange in the old route, which I'm pretty sure will be the same as this one up until this point. It's just don't have a dodo, I think. Go bang bang bang. <laughs> that would be an alternative, I guess. Um, I mean, yeah, that works. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Kill him. If the game doesn't crash, which it can do in these kinds of cutscenes. Well, then you'll have lost nothing because you'll still have to learn a save anyway. <laughs> I have one after yeah. Plaster Blast, yeah, I guess. But Sam still needs just to go bang, bang, bang. Okay. Yeah, We've I have already loaded oh, saves. Oh, never mind. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that can happen apparently. You got killed by oh, a nice. fucking plane. How lucky. Quote unquote lucky. Let's fucking go, boys. We want to cheat. Yep, no cheats required. <laughs> okay, I've never, I've never done this flight to Ray like this. So let's see where I want to land. Ray is dead, fuck, champ. Yeah. I don't know, I'll just land on the road and then drive, of course. Nope. Reminds me of the, you know, when they were talking about the fact that they're gonna like live stream uh, funerals because of COVID. And then there was that one <laughs> tweet where it was like, my chat when my coffin has been lowered and it's just a sea of punk jump. <laughs> oh, what a brilliant tweet that was. <laughs> If you know, oh, you know. <laughs> the next try with this as well. Hmm. Now I'm scared about pausing, although I, I've never had this fear before. Talking about what's biggest fear from earlier. I will still do it. This is gonna be fine this time, I'm sure. Maybe I've approached a little more like this. Uh, actually, this was probably worse. Oh my god, no way. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, I've never, I've never 
I never soft lock this, now I'll soft lock twice. <laughs> the game throws you a bone and you just throw it right in the bin. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> we got it. Let's go! <laughs> Can we get some Pog Champs in the chat? I mean, if. if He's I'm... alive, Pog Champ! I mean, Dead Champ! <laughs> right as help with the trade wreck that this run already is. Uh... Oh my god. Let's, let's line it up again. <laughs> No, not the one that's uh, as long this as This isn't going to be so bad net anymore, I feel like. It's really unfortunate. I think sub 5 is the only thing left now. And it's probably even close at this point. That's Horrix, thank you for the incredible massive raid. You came just in time, Chivu has just softlocked his game twice. <laughs> <laughs> but he's racing towards the five hour estimate. But it actually works out quite uh, well if you take quite a while because uh, because the zero is still at work until five, I think. So <laughs> yeah, I have time. It, it's, it's either it's either you go over estimate or I have to stall. So this is quite good actually. <laughs> Keep soft locking. We have plenty of time. Uh, I might actually die on exchange though. Who knows? Um, what is the time of 447 almost, for me at least? Um, yeah, I have 444 because I paused it oh. loading the saves. Okay, nice landing. Not really, but let's see how much HP I lose. Okay, I should be fine. There's an armor here I could have picked up. Um, so exchange has also done very, it's actually done very differently here we pick up some remaining packages here. We can we actually go up here and um, mega jump. Which also triggers a cutscene. Yeah. Probably jumping against the tree, that's not a big deal. Uh, actually that's fine. Another pack. Another mega jump. Hey, maybe, oh. maybe I should first be loaded. Uh, do I survive this? I have no idea. I don't know if you will. Actually, you might. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you did. Fine. Doing everything to just, I don't know, delay the runs with mistakes. I love how to give you every possible answer to that question. Uh, it's like, yeah, hey, no, I, I, maybe no, 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 you I, might, I, you might not. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's just hey, eventually, eventually, I said you will. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> There's health right here, so he's fine. Well. Uh... What else is I'm for the worst mega jump in the game. Okay. <laughs> Next try. <laughs> I should stand properly. Okay, didn't die. So he like buffered a directional input like during that replay, and that's why it took a little while to um, press F1 again just to make sure he had that input in. Some people here picking up this package that is here. Waiting for the credits. GG, any percent. Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full blown war that hit the area yesterday. Local resident Clive Denver described to police a single gunman that he saw fleeing the scene with a dark Yeah, there's a little more to the run. Just because this is the last mission triggering the cuts, uh, credits or whatever, it's, it's not over. Yeah. You also don't need to end on this. 
The sound of explosions shook nearby homes as people ran for cover. Several citizens were injured in the panic as gunfire the was mission itself, between um, ground forces and a helicopter circling the dam. Also only ends and gives percentage after the skip the credits. With the death toll already over 20, police are still finding bodies. But there's not much left. denials concerning rumors that the dead were members of the Colombian cartel and still no leads as to the cause of the massacre. And I don't think I accidentally skipped something or anything because of the backup safe, uh, hopefully. <clears throat> I broke a nail and my hair is ruined. I mean, can you believe it? This one cost me 50 dollars. Thank you very much to Dry Ice for the big fat juicy raid. To anyone who's uh, still here from Taurus's raid earlier and also from Dry Ice's, uh, this event is Gaming Tuesday United. It's raising money as part of Gaming Tuesday, which is Save the Children's version of Giving Tuesday, which is December 1st, the National Day of Giving. And the simple premise is that it's bringing our community together, together in order to raise money for kids less fortunate all around the world. And we are trying to raise a thousand dollars. We have just hit five hundred dollars. So, and also any Twitch revenue that I'll be getting during the event will be directly donated as well. So, if you have any uh, like Twitch primes or anything like that laying around, you can feel free to contribute them. And also, just after this run, um, I'm gonna sing you all a Christmas carol while I get to zero set up because I said I would for five hundred. So, thank you to everyone who's uh, supported so far, and we've still got five more days to go. So, all packages now, um, we do rumble, and then we take a tank to the Portland Crane again, and finish also the Portland Garage. It's pretty much the to-do list. Uh, this mission requires you to take this bat and to trigger the dialogue, you don't need to take the guy with you. And you need to use the bat to kill these guys. Well, you can probably also kill them any other way as long as you don't use a weapon. So yeah, um, here is the tank. It's unlocked once you uh, once you finished exchange. It actually like normally doesn't even spawn until you finish exchanges and spare during arm shortage as a mission vehicle. Then it starts to spawn after you exchange. Also have some rain physics left. <laughs> that was more awkward. Uh, yeah, so you can speed yourself up like this, shooting behind. Should maybe make sure not. Well, it would fit the run if I flip this, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's also a classic uh, time loss for many people that have run this game. Let's go full out of AK, full speed down the bridge. So yeah, we are actually close to the end of the run. Just... You know, only a couple more deliveries to go and then that's it. GG. Um, so we can...
can't use, we can't mega jump against this wall. I'm not sure if it's even any beneficial. It's kind of close, but uh, yeah, so the tank is still getting picked up right now. Um, there's also this fixed pony that we can put in the garage, bring to the import export. Rain really doesn't make this easier. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not nice. I really don't want to go over the fence, <laughs> but I think I have to. Uh, okay. okay, the list is completed here at least. No pony flip in the garage. So time is coming up. And time. GG. So yeah, yeah, we also have to, you know, uh, go to the crane once more after everything is delivered to get these blips. That gives us the percentage. Um, yeah, so that was, that was, but that was the last objective uh, that gives percentage. So by our definition, it's hundred percent. Not the counter or anything. I can also show you the stats quickly. I guess. I mean, it's coming from a safe file, but uh, because I <laughs> crashed on Twenty, but. Still good for a marathon run. Yeah, I guess it's uh, considering everything that happened. <laughs> I should... Yeah. 27 out of 70. Uh, 27. 72. Now I can't even read numbers. 72 out of 73 missions. Oh no. Yeah, that one mission by uh, is encountered is the gang car roundup in the past, which we talked about. Only gives percentage doesn't count as completing a mission. But as long as it gives percentage, it's allowed for 100%. And actually not allowed for all missions because the different um, criteria for those categories. All right, GG, do you have any uh, any final words to the crowd? Um, I'm done. <laughs> I, this <laughs> run was kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I guess, I mean, it could have been five minutes faster if I had just given quadruple vigilante, I guess, but uh, I still tried, I wanted to try it. Um, thanks everyone for watching, thanks Anti for commentating with me. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. This is my favorite GTA speedrun category, and uh, I haven't like really done anything with it in almost three years now, and it's fun to like relearn and like... Uh, refresh my memory and commentate around it. It was really fun. Also, thanks to Ben. He was also co commentating, I guess, but he's also hosting it, so it makes sense. Um, and yeah, again, thanks everyone for being here, watching it. Um, have fun with GTA 2. Yeah, we've got a Tezero and Word of Wind coming in very soon for GTA 2 All Missions for our final run of the day, since the, these are two quite long runs. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back very soon. Bye. Bye.